All right, good evening and welcome, Eric. We're glad to see you already in chat. Azteki, I have to thank you both for being here as a player and for continuing to sub. Um, it means a ton that you keep supporting the channel, not just by being an amazing player here, but in all the other ways you have, including uh, all of that lovely noise we made uh, a week ago Friday. Because that was, that was some crazy lovable noise. Uh, and I didn't even realize at the time that Eric, who's in chat, had actually bought one of the Lantern Noir mugs. It got lost in all of the uh, resub and and sheer hype. Because uh, I'm like, I could have sworn I, I would have seen the, the merch thing go by. Because you get a thing that has merch. Um, and he posted a picture on our Discord this morning of the actual mug. And, and I might have to order myself one because it's a little bit cooler than my Pride mugs. Not that Pride isn't cool. Pride is very cool. But, uh, you know, variety. It's a spice of life. My name is Rob, a.k.a. Lantern Noir, and we are here tonight to play Curse of Strahd. We are in episode 12, which I am has the working title of Which Way to the Crypt? I don't know if that's the plan, but last I checked, I thought that's what y'all were doing. So we'll have to see which direction you want to go. Um, we'll go around the table, introduce ourselves, and who we are tonight. We're going to kick it over to the, the resident masochist, having played so many hours of an early access game, Adam. Hello, hello. I am Adam. I play Dagon Bjorn, the used-to-be human fighter slash barbarian, now undead zombie. It's fitting for Strahd, I suppose. It's only a matter of time for somebody to turn into a zombie, right? Might as well be me. Was that or a werewolf? Why not both? <laughs> yeah, I would like to be a uh, werewolf vampire zombie, please. And that well, right. so you, we he did get bit by a werewolf, right? And there was a con save at one point, and so he would have been yeah. a werewolf before he died, in theory, which is the only way that would work, because you can't turn into a werewolf after you're already a vampire. True. So you'd have to already be a werewolf before you became undead, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't know. I, at this point, I'm just going to stick my neck out to everything and be like, here, bite me. Let's see what happens. For science. <laughs> For science. <laughs> Skyrim taught me you can't be both. Well, you never know. By the way, no, let's finish the round robin. Jeremy, you're up. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I am playing Frederick, the Dwarven Ranger. Um, I, I do think we're going to go to the crypts. I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then coming around Nebula. Hello, I'm Nebula and I'm playing <laughs> Samara and I am the elven wizard and resident setter of things. Uh, yeah, setter of things on fire. <laughs> I was like, what am I saying here? <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> hey there. Hey, uh. <laughs> and, and hey to chat and everybody watching. I am RJ, human paladin of raven kind and uh we're looking for a lost artifact that was taken from me while i was upgrading armor because we are too trusting as a group yeah in strad's castle still trusting everyone we run into yes only this group yeah i i haven't even questioned our new undead compatriot like i left him and everything was fine and he came back and he was dead nobody You're like yeah i guess that's it. fine <laughs> It's just like, all right, I guess this is what our rolling. <laughs> it 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 kind of makes sense. Like, if you were supposed to comment on it, somebody would have said, "Hey, did you notice?" Hmm. Nobody has. Therefore, no. must be fine. We're all good here. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's like when you come blue. and you catch your friend puking in the toilet uh, out at a bar. And you're just like, let's get through this and then pay the tab and let's go. <laughs> it's really like a stretch, but yeah, totally. Does that happen often in your life? <laughs> All of those days. I have stories for sure, but not anything recent. You're going to be a dad and everything. Luna, if you're watching this, that never happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were doing the whole getting them all ready for school today thing. So, yep, yep. Oh, Just you wait. Nice. Yep. Nice. We still don't know when the bus is supposed to pick Layla up. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, no, it's messed up out here. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. 
By the way, Jeremy, if you can just pull your mic about an inch closer to yourself, I think we're going to be okay on the balance tonight. I'm actually All trying right. another arrangement. I've bumped my, my meters directly in front of myself so I can look where I'm talking and see what my meters look like to try to actually get good audio for the first time in forever in a week. Uh, when we last left off, uh, we are. This is episode twelve in the Curse of Strahd campaign, which means we are too far along now to do a full section, full session recap. There's just there's just too much to do. Um, so the highlights of the most recent sessions were that Dagon was killed, not actually in a death trap, but by trying to get out of a non lethal trap. I mean, when you really break it down, he he didn't want to be non lethal, so he got himself killed. Yeah, it wasn't hardcore enough. I don't, I don't think that I don't think that, that any of that was thought about. I think it was more like a ching 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 rolls dice. Ching 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 rolls dice. Oops. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> um the the party has worked its way up into the castle as RJ noted, Asteki has lost the holy symbol of Ravenkind. They browbeat Strahd's accountant into providing them directions down into the crypts where perhaps the artifact may be stored they also had something from the 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 fortune teller about the uh crypts themselves as well and they have procured strahd's personal diary recorded over the last several decades which they have been perusing for uh evidence and hints as to where they might go next. Uh, if I recall correctly, you are all located at present right smack yoink, in this nice cozy study. I believe that's where we left off. You are standing around the study. You fought off the vampire maids. Gertruda has escaped into the castle after you intimidated the daylights out of her. And the question now remains before you. What next? Well. Down the stairs towards the crypt. <laughs> I think we are. We were discussing, I think, we're, we, whether we were going to go down to the crypt. Yeah, because I, I don't want to go find Gertruda. She was annoying. Well, I mean, if she probably won't be killed if the attendants were trying to give her a bath. She'll probably just get taken to a more different bath. That's true. Unless they're, like, waiting and preparing her for some sort of ritual. Like, who knows? I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was super annoying. Well, you've established your hatred of Gertrude. It's not everyone. It's not everyone we try to be nice to tries to get us killed. So I, I'm perturbed. Right. Yeah, I, I made no oath to protect Gertrude, so <laughs> she's on. She's on her own. I don't think she actively tried to get you killed. She did tell the vampire guards we were there in the room. True. That is officially trying to get someone killed. Well, the vampires where they were. It doesn't necessarily mean I wanted them to die. And all we did was poke around a bed that doesn't belong to her anyway. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we did find, you know, an extremely important journal. Yeah, and if we bump into her mom again, we can send her up. Yeah, I mean, she's up in Strahd's castle, which I know is exactly what you were trying to prevent from happening, but clearly that <laughs> didn't happen. Oh, did you see her? Yeah, we saw her, but she ran away from us, so good luck with that. Yeah, she doesn't want to come <laughs> home. Sorry, bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, rebellious teens. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Hire a band of adventurers to go get her or something? We'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Not my business. <laughs> hire the next band of adventurers. You, you should. Not you us. sound like you have issues. You should 
you should talk to someone, someone else. <laughs> someone. Not, not us, someone else. Yeah. Here's the number to call. <laughs> <laughs> What's your number again? 911? All righty then. <laughs> All right. So you, do you head out? Well, on the floor that you're currently on, you still have those two doors that you did not explore, or you can backtrack to that stairwell and resume your trek downward. Uh, which doors did we not look at? There are two doors on the north side of the study. Oh, I'm I'm down for clearing we're the here level. already. So yeah. Oh, I had no idea those were doors. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Are you doing uh, left door or right door? Oh no, they're are they different? Yes, one is on the left. One is on the left. <laughs> one oh. is on the right. Uh, we've been opening the right door, so let's open the right door. All right, I'm already dead. I'll go first. What are you doing? I, I say right door. <laughs> yep, agreed. Right door. Door on the right. Oh. oh well, good. I love that shirt. What's that? Slothful good. Oh, you want me to brighten up the place? A little bit. All right. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Oh, a little. You want it darker? Yeah. Close enough for garment work. It opens up onto a hallway, which you can see extends, uh, goes off to the left and to the right, just a short distance down, about 60 feet. I will look around for a strawed mannequin on a track <laughs> <laughs> a, a reasonable concern i do not blame you for that um but unfortunately you do not spot anything out of the ordinary oh no he said unfortunately or is it fortunately it's kind of hard to say heading down i presume Oh, we want to go through here. Yeah, I'm down for checking out. Peek, yeah, we want to peek this door first. Yeah, and do we Let, let's Scooby Doo sneak to the edge of the the hallway? Because yeah, we have the other door also that we haven't looked at. Well, I imagine it connects on the other side. I don't I can't imagine in this place. We can only test and find out. <laughs> we'll see what happens when we see around the corner. Jump. All right. Well, so that's interesting. The, that in. the stairs go down. There we go. That's a little better. Do they go up or do they just go down? Okay. So, point of clarity. Uh, this is up and this is up. So, as you glance to down into the right, you see a long landing inside a massive circular tower. The stairs spiral up into the darkness or down into the darkness, as you may or may not desire. Turning to your left, however, you get more box text. So I'll put this up there. Guys, there's a box with some text on it over here. <laughs> Hands it to well, Samara. What does it say? Hands it to Samara. <laughs> yes. I am the reader. Uh, I'm the reader of all the things. Reader of things. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, that's interesting. That lines up actually kind of nicely. I'll take it. Looks like a trap. I'll take a smooth lineup for 500, Alex. Uh, let me find the book. See, I, this is the worst part. I had everything up and open when, we, when I sat down at quarter two. And then I realized, crap, one stream element's not working. The only way to fix this is to oh, no. reboot the entire computer. Which, again, takes up, 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 up. Okay. So, dark alcoves line the walls of this long hall. The ceiling has fallen here, leaving rubble strewn across the floor. Overhead, 
the beams of Ravenloft's roof are exposed. Lightning from the dark clouds above sporadically illuminate the hall, light lighting the faces of life-sized human statues in the alcoves. Each visage is frozen in terror. Ooh. Mm. So, so it doesn't connect. We gotta go open that door. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, yeah, I have to know what's in the other. <laughs> now there door. is now there is shadow here at the end that you cannot quite see what is down there. The hallway does continue. Oh, okay. So this this is there's something down here, but it's it's shrouded in darkness. Well, in darkness. I attack the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can. You you literally can like spray holy light on it. <laughs> well, I, oh, wait, we have a magic lamp. Right we, could, we could totally spray holy light on it if we want. I'm I'm keeping my holy hose away right now. All right. <laughs> that's what that's what we call the flail of terror, the holy hose, if you will. You get that thing spinning oh, and then not like... sure how I feel about that name. <laughs> Stop it. I'm gonna turn it into a tomato. <laughs> it's, it's all bright red. Look. <laughs> Can we go down the hallway? <laughs> Yeah, okay, so who's going first? I'll go first. Roll me a perception yeah, check. Let the undead guy take it to the face. Oh are we not <laughs> are we not opening the other door? Are we seeing what's on the hallway first? What what other door? The door that's in the this. Door oh here. no, we'll backtrack if, and we'll get that if later. I, we if got... I was playing a video game, I would be like, I better turn around and open that door. <laughs> <laughs> I would do All the right. same. Um so you proceed down the hallway. Um and I would also like it if... Guys, I don't um, think this is uh, the way to the crypts. Samara, can you give me a history check? I think you probably have the most likely to pass it in the group. Mm. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Totally. Okay, Ooh. cool. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I didn't roll terribly. Despite the state of the statues that you walk past, nothing of interest occurs as you make your way down the hallway. As you look around the corner at the end of the hall, you spot a set of stairs that lead down. Oh my gosh, more stairs. Mm. Well, they're going in the right direction, but you guys want to backtrack and then- yeah, we really got to open this door now. <laughs> Number two. It's gonna drive me nuts. I don't open that door. All right. Let's check out. Yeah, hey, we closet. gotta open it. All right. All right. You backtrack to the other door. Yeah. And we yeah. gotta see what's in the closet. History. Oh, oh, oh. We have a reroll on the history check. Okay. Here, here. Well, we had to walk back through the hallway, so <laughs> All right. it yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah, it makes total yeah. sense. It's like a chance. Let's just hope there's not a combat in the next 15 minutes because there's your, your one, uh, uh, Reroll for for fifteen minutes via channel points. Oh gosh, it was so worth it. Is it though? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now we get to hear about the history of everything. Oh, the history yeah. of everything. Good. The whole history. Yeah, um, scene starts to play. We should probably take a BRB to get our water. This is going to take a few minutes to read. Um, <laughs> it's it's actually not that bad. Um, as the 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 light through the the raptors catches each statue samara notes that they all bear a striking resemblance to each other these are likely strad's ancestors on display their armor grows more dated as you move down the hall away from the the massive tower and represent generations of lords and ladies oh wow and they have looks of terror abject terror like what's abject terror like terror really really like ter really like, scared yeah, t oh really okay scared. Pick, picture wow. terror but go spinal tap on it and crank it to 11. oh okay yeah abstract terror that makes sense i, I was thinking of like objectively terror or something 
<laughs> I mean, that still would apply. That's still they're would objectively apply. terrified. They're objectively <laughs> terrified. They're abjectly terrified. They are objectionally terrified. They're every um, kind of terrified you could possibly be. Yeah. You even sense a small bit of of con of um, necromatic magic and um, abjuration magic attached to like a very fine residue attached to the statues. Perhaps they were not crafted this way originally. They're allowed to express their actual feelings about what's going on. Wow. <laughs> I'm just walking down the hallway. Come on, guys. This is the worst plan I've ever had. Just <laughs> Your quick backtrack reveals that the other stair door out of the study uh, opens into a staircase that spirals downwards. Oh, no. It's the right direction. <laughs> yeah, but... How many stairs do you need? Gee, Strad. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, exactly. It's like... And not one elevator? Well, actually, you we found did the get elevator. One elevator. Yeah. There <laughs> might be more elevators. Yeah, Dagan. Dagan tried to avoid the elevator. Yeah, it is I, feel, I feel that. It's, uh... Yeah, now I have now a, like a phobia of elevators. elevators. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you have a sticker for? You look fine. He just turns around like half of his body. <laughs> <laughs> So now I need to know if you're going to go down a set of stairs, which set do you want to go down? Yeah, that's uh, a lot of stairs. Got a lot of choice here. It looks like we have what three, four choices for down. Yeah, you yep. have the one, the main two, spiral three, stair four. that you discovered earlier. You have this one off right. the study, and then you have this other one off this hall of statues. I I'm kind of feeling the hall of statues stairs. So it's the most interesting one. So we have to go back through the creepy, you know, terrifying statues, you know, that are probably going to come to life. Or we could just go forward. I'm just saying that that's my vote. If you guys want I agree. I agree. We should walk past the creepy straw bees again. Is there a way off to the side of that, that huge uh, tower with the stairs? On the right side there? It looks like it's open. Yes, when you glance in there, there is a way across over here that goes out. There's also out onto the parapet here. You can see the, the storm just outside that archway. Oh, so there's more to this floor on the other side of the stairs? Is, other is side of that saying? massive tower, yeah. Well, there's just more, you know, stairs down, so... Yeah, I bet you there's another stairway down right through that doorway. <laughs> right next to the stairs. Yep. Yeah. Here's the stairs that connect to the stairs. Actually, since this is open in the middle there, you can look across. It's an archway out onto um, one of the walls that connects okay. it to the outer gotcha. wall of the uh, the the um, the castle. So I'll give you that as a freebie. Which again, if you want to leave the castle and wander around on the parapets that would be one of the many ways you could get there i'm not sure why you'd want to go wander the parapets where any flying creature would have free access to you but hey i don't judge we have a ranged character or two it'll be fine and i'm pretty heavy totally fine <laughs> yeah well should we head down wait, wait. down it is I, I like think, it, I but which down. staircase? Let's go. Let's go past the the strata likes. Yeah, everybody wants to go past the the, ter the terrified okay. statues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's strut past the statues down the staircase. Okay, we can do that. Let me reload that page. Go back a sheet. Go back two sheets. You can do the way I do my walk. -off. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> it's gonna be weird to line up, but I think I can pull it off. If not, I'll just move everything around when the time comes. This is why I'm reminded of the good old days where somebody else was in charge of making all the party maps. <laughs> oh, hi, third tier. I think Twitch captions are good. 
Okay, there we wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. You can have captions on? You yeah, can, what's I, up with that? I don't have captions on, but Twitch has captions, so you should be able to turn them on if you want to. Oh, where? I um, love captions. I'm one of those people. It's usually on the overlay somewhere. <laughs> Hello, indeed. Um... All right, let me actually grab one more bit of this map, given the circumstances. Because you're obviously you're not going to settle for uh, looking around the corner and going, oh, look, the stairs go down, there's a hallway, and then stopping. I know you enough to know you're going to look around the corner. So, Guys, it's a hallway. Let's go back up. Yeah. <laughs> let's go back down. Let's go back to one of the other down staircases. <laughs> it's more stairs. The guy had stock and stairs. There we go. Um, this wood, the stone stairs end actually in a wood hallway and landing. Interesting. And it goes a short distance before it stops. And I'm going to stop fluttering with it in just a second. Close enough for government work. And you on, do uh, spot a door here. That you come to. All right. Let's open it. Let's check out this closet. I just feel like going, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, like through the room. Ah. <laughs> and it's ah. like, a, like a winning closet. Fireball. <laughs> We got you, Strahd. They keep all the cleaning supplies. You know what? I, I should try this. Like I should walk ahead of the party, and anyone we come across, I'll be like, I'm the new guy. And they'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> First day jitters. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? <laughs> You're dead. You don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. Okay. What are the many perks? Exactly. Think of all the time you'll save. Hey, hey, paying rent? Well, now you can just stand outside in the rain and it won't bother you. Hey, that reminds me, third tier, since you are here, if we suddenly disconnect, raid out to Time Lord's wife or raid out to LB Hackem up. Uh, we are having a severe storm in the area right now. I don't think we're going to lose power, but if we do, those are the two you should raid out to. Because and they... put the chat in emote only mode. And put the well, no, I'm not. I think that's a myth. I would, I would welcome we for April Fool's Day to have email only mode and everything you type just comes out sad. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Right. So you peek through the door and find yourselves in a room full of uh, of beds. Oh, I thought those were bean bags. Yeah, Oil. I didn't know what those were. I was like, what are... Th Oil <laughs> lamps illuminate this long rectangular chamber with oak paneled walls. Stained yellow lace hangs neatly from eight canopied beds. The figure of a woman moves lithely about the room, dusting furniture and humming quietly. Around her pale slender neck is a gold necklace with a ruby pendant. She has not yet noticed you. Close the door and walk away. There's just a room in the middle where there's like no windows in here, I'm guessing. Correct. There are no like, windows. It is a interesting. A servant it's a servant. Well, you know what? Roll me a history check. Oh, miss going? Miss, that's interesting. Well, you have an eighteen intelligence, so how interesting <laughs> is it? It is interesting. I mean Okay. I don't know. It servants don't need light because they're not people. They're servants. Why, you know. why waste a room in the manor with windows on servants' quarters? <laughs> Poor people. I have to have light. At least they get beds. <laughs> yeah, at least they get that. Someone is tidying the beds. So. so do we want to say hi to the cleaning lady, or we just want to leave her do her thing? Well, she has a pendant. I'm curious about what the pendant is around her neck. Sounds like none of our business. We should run away. It is. It's fine. Do you uh, want to kill her and take the pendant? I'm okay with that. Dagan will, will step into the room and be yeah. like, 
excuse me, ma'am, uh, new here. Uh, I was told to go to the Crips. I am lost. This place is crazy. Is anyone Maybe you else, can point me in the right direction. Is anyone else like making themselves visible at the same time or are you all actively hiding or I'm just not going around i'm just like oh sh really okay that's what we're going <laughs> I, with I, I i like this plan this this new, newbie <laughs> new hire plan <laughs> bonus points if you can use the phrase onboarding yeah that's where we got to go to the crypt floor for onboarding yeah <laughs> I mean, there's no other reason to go down there it's just hr and, and old records in there <laughs> if you're gonna stop by bring down this jug of creamer for janice we're probably done with the old one right now. already took my food from the fridge and i lost my id <laughs> oh my God. i even had my name on the tupperware what the heck oh yeah oh. No, that's not how it works here she if it she, goes, if it goes into the public uh fridge it's it she she jumps with a start and and narrows her eyes. Who are you? Uh, Dagan. Nice to meet you. You're and then she kinda of looks past you at everyone else. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, are you are you here to rescue us? No. I mean maybe. <laughs> She, she furrows her brow with with confusion. What, what what are you doing in the castle then? I don't. No, I'm not a fool. You're obviously, you're obviously here on a purpose. All right. Was it the face what? that gave it away? I mean, the hat. I was I was gonna say, what makes you play that? The hat. <laughs> and the dwarf and the significant number of accoutrements of destruction and death you carry <laughs> are dwarves and in instruments of just death not yes. normal in Strahd's uh, castle that would be a good yeah. observation i mean you no offense good sir you are not native to barovia nope <laughs> nope yeah you <laughs> definitely say that so but but are you though I, I would be most well, grateful I mean, for, for transport out of the yeah. castle. I mean, we could put a pin in it. We got some unfinished business, and then, you know, maybe we'll swing back around. Well, what if I go with you? I can be helpful. I can carry things. Or No, nah, I, uh, I don't think I have any trust left in me to allow people to follow us. Uh, not, not anymore. I mean, it's nothing you did. You know? But, but you, you can't just leave me here, can you? Yeah, sure I can. We what, can come back for you. What, what what if what if the master comes for me while you're you're delving into the depths of the crypts or something? Yeah, then give him some tea or whatever you do, you know? He rarely seeks tea. I've been very lucky. He's he's had that other girl upstairs to keep him distracted, but but if he becomes bored with her or or, or heaven forbid she runs off. I just I just want to get home. The other girl upstairs was literally just chilling in his bed reading books. I, I wanna I wanna look at her and ask him. So this is the servants' quarters, right? How did you end up with such a beautiful pendant? Is it, it a, a family heirloom? It, it was it was a gift from from Lord Bonzarovich. He he didn't say why he gave it to me. And when did he give you this gift? Shortly after I arrived. How long ago was that? Not terribly long. I mean, I suppose by now it's perhaps moving on to a matter of months. It's hard to keep track of time. There isn't a very large staff. And he becomes very cross if things are not kept up. I, I Sounds like uh, Strahd <laughs> needs to hire some more people then. I, I think, I think he'll replace me if I don't keep up, and by replace I mean, you know. And they they say that the ones that he doesn't keep as as a bride are simply interned alive below in the crypts. 
I can't think of a worse fate than to be buried alive. That sounds pretty awful. <laughs> it's up there. Well, I mean, uh, you know, why don't you just run away? How far would I get alone? I'm not a warrior or or a, a magic user. My father makes boots down in the village. I suppose if I could fight my way out of here by by stitching a firm line through leather, I could make my way out on my own. I mean, if I could lower the drawbridge by simply identifying a superior breed of, of animal for the right kind of shoe. Well, what kind of shoes is this lady wearing? Uh, that's a good question. You're like, I don't know if I believe this. Yeah, yeah, cobbler. <laughs> Um, she is wearing worn boots, uh, low heat, low, like low, sh high shoes, low boots, Victorian converses. How's that? Um, <laughs> is, is the, like my brain has the picture describing it. Words are hard. I, I bet you if you Google I, Victorian converse, something's coming up. I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're, they're in, they're of good make, but they're not a wealthy person's shoes. They're sturdy. Um, they look like, you know, well-crafted, but... Hey, well, listen, between you and me, you're not going to have to worry about this strad fellow for much longer, all right? So you just keep your, you know, keep your nose down and just do what you got to do, and uh, we'll let you know when they're all clear. But I can't, I can't stay here. He'll, he'll know I've talked to you. He'll surely come for me if I'm left alone. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. She's totally <laughs> telling the truth. <laughs> I love how you don't even tell me you're doing it. You just cough bullshit and then you roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let, yeah, but we already do Freddy trust on everybody. I'll let somebody else make and make an insight check. I I will. Like, oh no, another oh person in goodness. trouble. Let's get Apparently, to work. I don't. Yep, no. I don't see anything either. I. What's the What's the big deal if we let her tag along? We don't know. We I don't know what happens when we start trusting people in here. I'm not so, saying we need to. Save her from any traps or anything. <laughs> Don't want to make that mistake again. <laughs> so far, she's telling the truth that she, her, her father makes boots and that she is afraid of what will happen if Strahd knows she's been talking to you. All right, let me, let me see your neck. Oh, she will... Um, hesitantly reveal, um, expose her neck to you. It is clean of mark outside of the, the heavy necklace. The necklace does look incredibly expensive. The ruby is, I mean, it's like you, you could use it as like one mm -hmm. lens in a, a, in a monocle if you wanted to. I kind of want to see if there's anything like special about the, necklace like if it was have any like magical properties or anything take i don't a, know if i can take a few moments to throw a detect magic on it yeah um let me double check i think because i think that's a ritual spell isn't it yeah identify, is. Yep. I no, identify detect is yeah detect magic is too Ooh, do you know detect magic do you have identify I've identified. I don't think I have. This is an interesting one that I I remember great debates back as, as as a youth. If you don't know if it's magical or not, does identify do anything? Oh yeah, because it's like you have to assume or that or know that it's magical to identify what type of magic. Yeah, but oh, is no that's... type of magic a type of magic? So here's what we'll do: we'll roll an arcana check. Okay. Fair enough. Which you would you not know. have to roll with detect magic. Detect magic just tells you. You have to pass an arcana check to find out if. if oh, what I just rolled. Never mind. What did you roll? I can't see. I it. can't it's see. Twenty-six. 
26 total. Oh, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> nice try, Rob. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, let's. You cast identify. The gold was smithed <laughs> 600 years ago in a small mine run by halflings and dwarves on the far side of the ocean. It passed through the hands of a man who had lost his finger in a small accident at the forge. From there, it was carried by an incredibly agile but nearsighted elf. Uh, at some point, somebody stopped Samara. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, but can we use it to defeat Shrod? <laughs> I'm getting to the good part. Hold on. I mean, I guess it's just a really expensive necklace. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, if you're going to roll a 26, you're going to get... <laughs> I mean, there's there's no Cliff Notes version for this sucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, it has actually no magical properties. It is just incredibly well-crafted and incredibly old. Probably ballpark of like 400, 500 years. What a nice gift. That's interesting. Yeah, why would he give such a, like a special, like, a, I don't know. Because he's a gift. baller. Oh, he's you got, think? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many of these medallions they have laying around the castle? <laughs> yeah. This means you, nothing to me. You're you're nothing you, to me. I only gave it to her to get it off the floor so it doesn't collect dust. <laughs> exactly. That's 395 of these like some, Somebody like Irina, you know? Somebody yeah, who's got a bigger one. Well, she gets oh. something special. That, <laughs> that's 7,000 years old. Exactly. Oh she gets the, I, I, you know, the Mrs. Strahd mug from, you know, <laughs> the catalog. Uh, fair enough. Oh. All right. Have Sorry, no, you can't help us stay have, here. Be safe. Have Bye. No further questions. <laughs> so, which way to the crypt, lady? Um, she she considers that for a few moments, um, thinking about the the best route from where you currently are located, uh, and settles on directions that would take you. Uh, well, that's a good question. What is the best way from here? I believe, unless my unless the dungeon master forgets this maze, which is Ravenloft, uh, not for the faint of heart or the new dungeon master by any stretch of the imagination. So that goes down to there, which goes down to there. Uh, no, the better way is to go down to there. And that no, there, that would be the best way to get there. Um, she actually recommends you go back up the stairs you were, up the up up a floor to the study and take the other door out of the study. Oh yeah. There should be a staircase there that will take you directly into the the crypts below. Oh, the left door. <laughs> okay. the study. Thank you, lady. We'll go check it out. I want to roll insight. See if she's telling the truth about that. Okay. Roll an insight. Yes, she is being honest about how to get to the crypts. Sweet. And then as so, you as you know, we're not leaving the castle directly. Do you want to follow us into the crypts? Yeah, isn't that where he's gonna intern you alive anyways? I mean she fusses a bit and, and twists the front of her apron. I I think it might be better. You don't mean me harm, do you? Not right now. Ar Arabelle looks up. Zativa's disturbing. Castle's, Castle's getting to him. He's usually very cheerful. You haven't had coffee in like eight hours. It's getting itchy. I can make coffee. Would you, do you need coffee? <laughs> there, there's a kitchen down below. We could we could we could go there, and I could prepare should, some we for you. Go to the kitchen. It's not the same directions I gave you though to get to the crypts. Would because that be better? I think we're okay. I, we'll head to the crypts. <laughs> I think I think I'll be safer yeah. with you, won't I? I mean. 
if I don't know, man. Strahd seems to find us and you know try to kill us. So I don't know if that's the best idea for you either. Well, he hasn't killed you yet. That that speaks well. Actually, he killed him already. She glances. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. I'll just tip my hat. <laughs> oh. But but he's only mostly dead, and that is a little bit alive. Right. I still think I'm safer with you than alone. Yeah. D- didn't you say too? Like my left arm was crushed so badly that it's now like like a spectral yeah. forearm and hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. That. Yep. That is. Exactly- oh, you know what? I haven't tried this yet. Can I try to put my hand? Through the wall? You can try. And I try. And it stops. Ah, damn. <laughs> it stops. Okay. Cast she, so she she does ask to follow you. Um, All right. And that goes More to the there. merrier. That goes to there. Uh, I'm sure you won't regret doing this. You're going to regret it immediately. I already regret it. We haven't even done anything with her yet. I know. I have a bad... I, I, I probably won't regret anything. I'm saying she's probably going to regret it. I have a bad it. feeling of the, about this. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell her uh, straight up. I'll say, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you can follow us. Don't get in our way. And I don't even want to see you close to no. that one over there. I'll okay. Right Thank you, uh, Juggernaut, for dropping that off. We will hold that ad to a roll until later. It is incredibly late your time, so do get some rest. That would be very wise of you. Um, so thank you for popping by and joining us ever so briefly. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm pretty sure the kitchen's in Strahd's uh, place would serve long pain for the record. But what about flat iron steak? Does he have any flat iron steak left? <laughs> Rod would would be offended that you would even even for his servants that's too cheap. Yeah, he would be like, "What? Like, no, this is the part of the cow I leave in the I do not. I do not allow that cut into my castle. <laughs> castle approved cuts is a pretty good name for a butcher. Castle, castle of cuts. deep cuts. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That is, yeah. All right, all right. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. With like a, it's like a the picture is a butcher, but like he has a crown on, and the fancy <laughs> doublet under his apron. I'm gonna grab a refill real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, double checking the map. I think I now am comfortable with where it is you all are going, so I can adequately describe where you're going to end up. Nice. And he said, noting that again, the map. Some when this is all over, we're gonna sit down. And do a rap party, and I'm going to go through the Ravenloft maps with y'all. Because you I'm have be like, no idea Ugh. how much crap. I mean, here's the good news while we wait for, for Adam to get back. It is a very tightly packed manor house. There's You'll find flat iron steak served for 10 gold at, thank, thank goddess, it's Freya's day. <laughs> Okay. It's um, a flat iron steak and uh Yeah, but have you checked out their apps? I mean they you have to go through at least three or four can trips to start eating. Right. Well yeah. It's you first you have to hunt your live boar. <laughs> the beginning it's the appetizers are first you must catch and kill your prey. Is that how that works? Okay, so you make your way up the stairs. And uh, the maid leads you around through the study, uh, looking absolutely terrified the entire time. She's half looking ahead and almost actually, and then half looking over her shoulder past you, behind you. She almost like runs into the door at the top of the stairs because she's so terrified of what's going to be coming up behind you. Oh, wow. Uh, You cut through the study and head back down the stairs. And eventually pop out in a room. Good. I was worried we wouldn't pop out in one of those. 
at first, as the stairs come down and they fall onto a landing uh, that's about 30 feet long before they can continue their descent into the castle. Um, of relevance to that, this 40, oh, sorry, a 40 foot landing. This 40 foot long corridor connects two spiral stairways, one leading up and the other descending into the depths of the castle. Hanging from an iron rod bolted to the eastern wall is a dusty 10 foot square tapestry depicting knights on horseback charging across a battlefield under a blood red sky. The lead knight rides a black horse and wears a fur lined black cloak, dark gray armor and a visored helm shaped like a wolf's head. His sword glows with the light of the sun. Sounds cool. like uh, that sounds like the guy from the book. Yeah, is that his brother? It does sound like him. Hey, Sunbo, is that you? Is that you in this picture? Is that selfie? <laughs> Are you talking to your bow? <laughs> we talk to us. It's true. I mean, in a way, yeah. <clears throat> Is that how that works? Oh, no. <laughs> no idea. This is my first magical bow that shoots the power of the sun. <laughs> that also talked to me once. I guess you gotta like name it. You can't just call it Sunbow. Why not? Oh, I want to call it Solar Flare. There you go. I like it. So that way you address Solar Flare. Appropriately. Well, but I don't want to. I don't want to call it like my name for it. We got to call it its name for it, right? So that it knows that I'm talking to it. What's its name for it? I told us it was the Sun Core. That's what it called itself. Can we just call it Sunny? It's Sunny! <laughs> it's Sunny! Okay. As you resume your descent into the castle, you come across a... Wait a minute. Do I have this on? Gosh darn it. Hang on. Let me shrink this down so everything will actually fit on the jam board once we get into the oh it's huge <laughs> yeah let me shrink it down so it all will fit because this is not looks like two statues pointing cannons at the center of a room like legend of zelda room i think those are horses <laughs> it does look like the legend of uh, zelda room. there are two do there are three doors out of the room i'm oh, sorry three doors on the north wall one on the south wall uh, description of the room is as follows. He said, double checking to see what exactly room you are in. Uh, double horse cannon room. <laughs> there it is. Right horse room. <laughs> this, this room is 30 foot square, rising to a 20 foot tall flat ceiling. A stone brazier burns fiercely in the center of the room, but its tall white flame produces no heat. The rim of the brazier is carved with seven cup-shaped indentations, spaced evenly around the circumference. Within each indentation is a spherical stone, twice the diameter of a human eyeball, and made of colored crystal. No two stones are the same color. Overhead, a wood-framed hourglass as tall and wide as a dwarf hangs ten feet above the brazier, suspended from the ceiling by thick iron chain. All of the stand is stuck in the upper portion of the hourglass, seemingly unable to run down to the bottom. Written in glowing script on the base of the hourglass is a verse in common. Two nine-foot-tall iron statues of knights on horseback, poised to charge with swords drawn, stand in deep alcoves facing each other. The brazier sits between them. Ooh, this is a cool room. What is the Maybe. phrase in common? <clears throat> the phrase is going to end up on the jam board. Just, and I'll delete it off later if we need to. 
because we're gonna want to play a game map there but i don't <laughs> i know you enough to know that i will have to read it four times so i'm going to put it down once <laughs> rude <laughs> cast a stone into the fire violet leads to the mountain spire orange to the castle's peak red if lore is what you seek green to where the coffins hide indigo to the master's bride blue to the ancient magic's womb yellow to the master's tomb <clears throat> So, I'm guessing the hmm. ancient magic is how to become a vampire. Uh, Dagon will take his sword and just tap the side of the uh, the hourglass. See if it's just the sand's just stuck. Uh, you poke it a couple of times, but nothing seems to happen. All right. Well, I mean, so there's often some... hide, right? That's that's the. The what's that? Where, where coffins hide. That's the crypt, right? Or maybe the master's tomb. Maybe maybe his tomb is in the crypt. I don't know, but this, this seems like a teleporty. I'm getting teleporty fire vibes. Yeah, I was going to like, I wanted to look at the, like, maybe investigate. What do you the fire feel about the fire? And like, put <laughs> what do you in feel there? about this fire? <laughs> Um, there's you pass yeah. it through. There's no heat radiating from the fire. And and you're an expert on fires, magical and otherwise. Yeah. Mostly magical <laughs> fires. That's kind of like your shtick. Um, oh. So there's definitely some evocation magic going on here um, that's maintaining it. Tell me about the stones around the fire. Uh, Are they different colors, like violet, orange, red, yes. and green? Well, mm hmm each, the, each, each of those colors matches with a particular stone on the that's embedded in the side. Um, and as you poke and prod, you can see that they shift slightly. You could pop one out if you wanted to. Oh, that's, that's what I was which, gonna, one, which one are we doing first? That's what I was going to ask. So the stone's already embedded in there, right? Right. They're on the sides. Okay. But you yeah, could, right, you could pry one loose if you wanted to. Okay. Where should we go oh, first? Wait. Wait, wait, before we do any of this, was this the way you were talking to get us to the crypt? Or is just past these stairs is the way to get to the crypt? Are you looking at the maid? Yeah. This is the crypt, isn't it? Well, this is the crypt. Well, this is as low in the castle as I think we can go. Well, aren't those... Oh, no, that's a door. That's not more stairs. Yeah, Dagan will, Dagan will go check these doors. Yeah, Just let's go peek, yeah. peek through them to be like, are we in the crypt? <laughs> Let me take a look. Okay. Um, like glancing... Before we start messing with magical portal room. Yeah, yeah. before we all get teleported to random locations. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's all try to go to the same place and not end up in different places right. in the castle. Well, just make sure to hold hands when you throw the stone in the fire. That works. <laughs> Um, okay, so one of them is a staircase. The the two to the north uh, go to a stair go to staircases. One goes up about mm, ten feet before it looks like it turns to the right, and the other one sort of goes up into the darkness, higher than you can see. A peek out the door to the south reveals a very small landing in a larger room that's been curtained off with a heavy red curtain. Ooh. You gotta look behind that curtain. It, it, you it's gotta. Not, it's the it, Wizard of Oz. It, it's right. gotta be like showtime. All right, if it, if it pops open, you know, we, we gotta prepare a song and dance just in case. <laughs> we can't just end up on a stage and have nothing to do. <laughs> Okay, so you head into that room? I think it's a good idea to check that out before we go randomly teleporting around. If Agreed. That's even what happens. <laughs> the room just doesn't crush us. Yeah, but it's a trap. I'll throw the curtain open and go, ta-da! <laughs> Is this your card? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, 
hoop. Oh, uh, what's the? What's, I don't like that. Hang on, I gotta well, resize uh, everything. Like in the rash? Map. Because we're yes. at the edge of the map, so let me resize everything so it fits. Those are actually only half racks. That goes there, and that goes. It's fifteen ninety nine for the full rack of ribs. That'll work. <laughs> Where they like do executions in this room? Is that what's happening? Yeah, when you 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 glance into the room, uh, lit half by Dagon's torch and half by the low light of of your own vision. Um. Irina will also be carrying a torch at this point, as they are the only sources of light you have here. Question. Uh, Helga offers to carry a torch as well. Does someone want to let her have one? Sure. Okay. Here's a torch. She will carry a torch I as didn't well. want to make her have a torch, but if she wanted a torch, totally. She wants to be helpful. She's grateful that you're not leaving her up for Strahd to kill. Awesome. Give her two torches. She'll be twice as effective. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not sure that's how that works. <laughs> low, dark, low shapes cool. thrust up out of the still brackish water that fills this 50 foot square room, the ceiling of which is festooned with hanging chains. They look like thick black web strands. A balcony set onto the north wall overlooks the room and has two large thrones atop it, with a velvet red curtain behind them. The dark shapes in the water are racks, iron maiden stocks, and other instruments of torture. The skeletons of their last victims lie within them, their jaws seemingly frozen open in silent screams. Well, this isn't a crypt. Or ecstasy. Yeah, no, this is, uh, this is not a room that I think we should be in. This is Strahd's... Uh... His, uh, like, little it's a cinema. Room. Yeah, this is, this is where he likes to go on Tuesday nights, have his flat iron steak, and watch some people get tortured to death. <laughs> you said there was water? Yeah, the the floor is covered in water. Uh, right. About waist, I... you, you, it's based on the size of the, the thing sticking out, probably about waist deep. And you start to spot movement inside it. Um, guys, what is that? Yeah, something tells me they ain't fish. <laughs> oh, hey, Ew. um, Maceo 13, welcome aboard. Glad to have you hanging out tonight. We are uh, deep into Curse of Strahd, like, really like, deep, about to be waist deep. I think that just means we can't go in it because I won't be able to breathe. We'll have to go a different way. How far down is it to the water? About a uh, five foot drop. All right. Yeah, I have, not, I have a whip on me. There. I am going to just whip down at one of those things that's moving. Okay. Um, yeah. You crack your whip towards the water. And there's a massive, you know, water sprays up and outwards. And more of the water and the floor begins to surge in your general direction as a series of bodies rise up out of it. Oh, no. Gross. Um, Many of the last of Strahd's victims have decided to take out their vengeance on you. So there's Dagon. Do anything. No there's, there's the maid. Oh, the maid's in a but different They're color. down there. They we're safe up here, right? Says who? Uh, let's see. Then we'll put Frederick over there. And then we'll put all the NPCs in. There's the maid. Yeah. There's Irina standing behind Dagon as she does. And there's Arabelle standing behind Frederick as she tends to. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God. All right, guys, it's diplomacy time. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to help. We're fighting a common enemy. We have, yes, we have a common enemy. We're here to kill Strahd. Yeah, friendlies. <laughs> 
friendlies? Yeah, we're we're friendly. Friendlies. Um, they surge towards, and the hands start to cut land right at the bottom, right, right on the edge of that rail of the floor, and they start to pull themselves up over the railing, and we'll be in combat them. with you shortly. I shoot them. Uh, you do uh, not come up here. I shoot you as you come well, up. Why don't we exit stage right and try to like barricade the door or something? With what? Are we gonna barricade the, maid. the door? The maid can hold the door. <laughs> yeah, hold them off for us. <laughs> no, let's, let's just shoot them. Let's just shoot them. What? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll start just chopping off fingers as I see them gripping oh, the. That's a good idea. That sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, just whack them all, whack them all, whack them all. just like yeah. hit something comes up and I'm just like, like no. That that's fun. That's something we all can enjoy. <laughs> we'll do it as a team. Okay, then I think we're gonna have to. Uh, Hang on, let me put something on the initiative tracker. And I yeah. feel like a burning hands in like an area. I'll do that. And then put these on the initiative tracker. One, two, one. Oh, we did have chairs. One. <laughs> one. Uh barricade the gosh, door. Gosh darn it. Okay. I mean, we, if we were going to leave, we could cheerful. Just teleport to somewhere Our else. Our combats usually start really cheerful because they don't know to be terrified yet. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Okay, those are all on there. Uh, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Sounds and good. Then I'm going to check to see if I need to update the... I do need to update the link for you guys, I think. Let me hit refresh and see if it works. Nope, I got to give you a new link. Um yeah. And I'm going to switch to combat mode over here. <laughs> I often joke, and I, I stand by this this joke, um, that I really, really desperately wanted to run heavy gothic horror, and I'm running Ghostbusters. <laughs> and I'm I'm okay with it. It's been an adjustment, but I'm I'm uh, I'm okay with it. Okay, so Azteki comes in at fifteen. Oh, wait, we actually have to roll for initiative. Dagon comes in at a 20. Ooh. Frederick comes in at 22. And Samara comes in at a nice, pretty 10. Oh, I keep forgetting. I got, like, zero plus to initiative. So I think 20. I'm like, oh, wow, that's great. It's like, no, I think like 24. I only have plus three. So, yeah, I only have plus three. Now uh, I have to roll a 19. Log in with Patreon to get the graphics to show up. <clears throat> There are days it does not benefit me. There we go. And now everything is working the way it's supposed to work. Okay. Frederick's up. What's going on? All right, who's coming up? I'm shooting the one that's coming up. They're all coming up. I'm shooting them all. <laughs> I'll use spread shot. I, what? Um, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm super <laughs> kidding. Uh, we don't have a new initiative oh, yeah. tracker link. Oh, we need I forgot the to link. use a link. Uh, Good call, cause yeah. Oh, the one that was in there wasn't new. No, I had to no. hit, I had to refresh and then I had to relog oh. into Patreon again. I sometimes forget. It was a product of having to reboot my computer, I think. Yeah, there were a lot of strawed zombies on the board. Yeah, that's terrifying. Well, I'll shoot at number one because it's first. Just to shoot at number one because it's first. Um, that seems reasonable. Um... Uh, the good news is go they're not with, hard to hit. Yeah, I was gonna go with the sharpshoot. There's just a yeah. lot of them. Yeah, I see that. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use Hunter's Mark. I know I don't really want to use spells, but we need to kill these things as hard as possible, as fast as possible. So, and we can get a bite afterwards if the maid survives. Oh, the kitchens. Man. He's talking about going to the kitchens. Yeah, no, no, I'm not suggesting sure. eat the maid. <laughs> All right, give me give me some to hit rolls on this one that's like coming up on top of you as you lean over the the railing and throw a shot down. That'll hit. For give that, me damage. Uh, seventeen. This is minus five. Seventeen. What? It's it's seventeen because it's minus five. Ah, it's still gonna hit. I'm gonna re-roll that one, but that's the only one I get for the. Uh, for the round. 
But yeah, so much better. So seven. Okay. Then you do the damage because you're fighting undead. Mm -hmm. And then the hunter's mark damage, don't you? Yes. So that's a total of 16. 16. So it'd be 26. So 26. I'm using the sharpshoot. Okay. We're going to round that up. Bunk. I'll shoot number six because it's next on the initiative. <laughs> I'll move my mark to him and then I'll be like, all right. <laughs> Uh, Let's go you, again. you are not shooting number six. Checklist. You're shooting oh, two, not. three, four, eight, or nine. To shoot five, six, seven, and ten, you would be shooting through Dagon and or Azteki and over the edge. Unless you want to run over there and shoot. I was going to say I could move up to behind here and shoot. Um, you won't no, see them. You're right. They're below the lip. Oh, I wouldn't see them because they're below the lip. Yeah, they're still climbing up. I guess I'll shoot number two. Number two is a reasonable shot. Zombies are really low in the initiative track. That will definitely hit. Throw in a big pile of damage this time. Thirty. Jeez. Oh, criminies. <laughs> 30 radiant damage. Then I'll damage. use my action to move up, move back. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take a step back. We need to we need to back up, guys. <laughs> Rangers suck. <laughs> I heard you say literally every class sucks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Except wizard. You never said wizard sucks. <laughs> Especially <laughs> when they have a sunbow. Awesomeness. Yeah, Sunny. That's yeah, true. Good okay. job, Sunny. Sunny. Okay, give me, <laughs> giving the ranger a, a, a holy item of divine arrows probably skews the damage slightly. Yeah. Good choice by the yeah. team, though. Um, Irina, for her part, will do what little she can, which is not a ton. You're just always downplaying our girl, man. But she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna lean over and stab at one of them. As best she can. Um, not exactly for a ton of damage, but she she shakes it up a little bit. Yeah. Stabity, She's stabity. Helping. That's what matters. Dagon's up. She still has fight left in her yet. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, yeah, I'll just start whack them all, swinging uh, swords at these guys as they're climbing up. If, if I can hit them. Yeah. Yeah, you got three and four within reach. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll put Dagon takes a little step closer to Azteki and try and opens up on those two. Irene's going to stand where she was stabbing at three. Um, 16s will hit, 14s will hit. That's on three. Uh, yeah, I'll just start start from the left and move right. Okay, three is three is done. All right, then. Uh, I'll scoot over and uh, take my offhand swing at number four. <laughs> you look okay. like a putter. Yeah, and, and, and as as Dig is doing it, he's like, step right up, chop, step right up, chop. Whack, whack, as bits of zombie fall back into the water. We're going to come out of like complete psychopaths. <laughs> uh, 12 will hit. Nice. nice. There we go. For an even 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. There we go. That was, I, I just applied 400 damage to it. Seems like a lot of damage. My new undead form is That's beyond a lot powerful. Of damage. <laughs> Fools, this isn't even my final form. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> folks, um, horror. if you check out Time Lord's Wife, you can actually see Curse of Straw being run tonight. In a serious setting, the way the Hickmans may have intended. I don't blame any of you for heading over there at this point. <laughs> but to be honest, this is much better. Oh, we are on. probably having more here? fun. <laughs> no, and I, I adore her. She's an amazing content creator. Um, I saw that she was starting a Curse of Strike game tonight, or starting the Curse of Strike game. I'm like, oh, I want to play. I want to play. She goes, Yes, we're doing it Sundays. I'm like, Thank you. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. You're stuck with us, man. I am. Yeah. Stuck, stuck, with, stuck with you for perpetuity. 
Or at least until we can add Luna to the table, because then we're going to have to bump one of you two bozos out. Yeah. Hi. Luna could be <laughs> thoughtfully good Correct. Oh, that's hard. Oh, my gosh. Did that just happen? Yeah, she'd be better being a paladin than I am. <laughs> yeah, I thought at least we'd have to, like, draw straws or something, but I mean, yeah, wow. just threw you right under the bus. All right. <sighs> you never, never get in the way of mother-daughter bonding time. <laughs> okay. Anywho. Is that it for Dagon? Uh, yeah, I will... Uh... See, I'll, I'll position myself to the right so that when those guys come up, I'll, I'll block their path. Okay. So like to block like six, seven. So yeah, then you'll you'll slide around, you'll squeeze between Samara and Azteki to take up a spot over here just to kind of yeah, just to just to hold the line. Be the first thing that those guys encounter. Okay, that works for me. Azteki is up. All right. I will I'm going to smack some zombies. I'm also going to put out there that you are facing a legion of undead, all of which are within 30 feet. Okay. I'm going to use the uh, turn the unholy ability. Okay. Are you taking out a toy for this? Um, I don't know. Do I? Is it tied to a toy? I think your I, I think, I think, yeah, I think one of your toys will will support this. I'm checking your sheet now, real quick. Yeah, didn't that statue have something to do with yeah, that statue? You you found. I keep that? losing the stat. Oh, oh, I have the holy. It's the icon of Ravenloft. Yes, if you take the statue out, you can use this icon as a holy symbol while using turn the undead or turn the unholy feature. Increase. Oh, okay. So I guess the deal is, is that like I'm able to turn the undead. I have been for a while, and I guess this increases the saving throw from like 13 to 15 or something. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna whip that sucker out, and I'll like behold, see this statue and run in terror. Do I need to make a saving throw? <laughs> do, do any of well, them need to make the same throws? I'm, I'm undead. I've, okay. I've been waiting for this to come up because I'm like, I, I think technically I'm undead, maybe. Uh, yeah, right your away. race type is. Maybe I should have done that. Your, Sorry. Your race type is undead. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, first, the good news. Uh, let's see. No, it's not good news. The DC is up by two, so it's a DC of 15. Mm -hmm. So. Let's run down the list and see who's running away. It's a wisdom save, right? Uh, let me read the thingy. For turn on dead? Pretty sure. They have to make a wisdom save. Which is nice because it used to be, yeah, wisdom. In the good old days, it was like, here, roll this, roll this, consult this chart, modify it by your charisma modifier. Yeah, it's a wisdom saving throw, DC 13, plus two, so One. 15. So okay. better roll high. Uh, two. Oh, you get plus two to saving ro throws, so that negates the two from the yeah, statue. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, Good job, Dagan. You are not scared. Uh, yeah, no, I, I nat 20 that. And that's a oh, wow. good time to nat 20. All right, so important safety tip when using AoE undead abilities. I guess my sense on dead is just going to constantly be on. <laughs> you have to be mindful. Bang, to be bang, bang. Oh. <laughs> to be mindful that we have an undead in our party now. <laughs> Things you did not think you were going to have to say when we started this thing a year ago. Yep. No. No, uh, we've been trying to adopt every undead we've run into. What are you talking about? <laughs> so if Strahd wasn't such a tool, we'd be like, hey, buddy, oh why don't you hang out with us? I'm sure we'll find a nice girl on the trails and we just wander. You know. Do yeah, any of you guys watch what, what we do in the shadows? Okay. I want to. No. Okay. Hey. I, think I highly recommend it. But, but uh, yeah, what, once as Techie holds the, the thing up, then he just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll put it away. <laughs> yeah, we 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 would have quite a collection of. of oh well, that's a bees. twist. That's a twist. 
quest. Okay. Yeah, what we do in the shadows is really funny. You, you guys should check it out. Um, I've heard. The zombies all begin to, to, to retrace their steps, save one of them. Which, under the circumstances, uh, Arabelle and Samara will, will completely trash with cantrips. Because it's one zombie left so. out of the horde. Uh, the rest are going to turn and flee. Eventually Boys. retreating in down that hallway out of sight. <laughs> Bye. If you wish, you may leap over the uh, railing and head down to engage them, and we can start a new combat around that. Nope. No, I, I feel good about that. Okay. That works. Um, as you watch the zombies make their way out, and Arabelle and, and Samara are kind of like shoulder to shoulder and just ray of frost and firebolt at the same time. Um, you also notice that the curtains behind you flutter greatly as the maid disappears back up into the room with the brazier, slamming the door behind her. Oh, she's totally teleporting somewhere. That's it. I'm going to go kill her. I'll allow it. <laughs> Wait, okay, why don't we just like, we gotta talk to her. Maybe I'll just shoot her in the in the like pant leg and slow her down. <laughs> I'll use my regular bow. We, that sunlight won't hold her down. That's not a good idea. We'll use the regular bow. All right. So let, let's try to exit stage right. What do we have to kick down the door? Is it like barricaded? Did um, she use my plan? No, it's not barricaded. It's, it's simply closed. So you're able to get up to it and throw the door open quickly. Um, okay. You watch as she grabs one of the gems, chucks it into the fire, and then immediately throws her hand into it at the same time. Okay. And then, what color was the stone? Yeah, I was just going to ask them. There's a, 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 a brush, a rush of air in the room, and she is pulled into the flames of the fire. Uh, in particular, the flame is now burning a bright yellow. Mm. I don't think yellow was one of the ones we wanted to go to, though. What, that, that that was was like, I think yellow was tomb. the master's tomb. The master's tomb, yeah. So why did she go to the master's yeah, tomb? Yeah, and why did she take away what the directions were? Because we... <laughs> we, were, we left that room. We were going to oh. do something else for now. <laughs> we had to go investigate the room with the curtain. <laughs> I see. Right? So, so the directions disappear? Yes. Uh, yeah. That's how that works. Rob deleted them because he wanted to uh, have more room to, to put maps focus. down. Uh, we realize that we cannot focus. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right in the fire, Sweeney Todd style. Um, by the way, while well, you guys are debating, um, yeah, she's, and as you, as you stand there pondering, you notice that the hourglass has started to drain above the, above the brazier. Ooh. The hourglass is now running. You have maybe 30 seconds, give or take, to make a decision. Ooh. So she went to the master's tomb. All right. I, 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 my vote is green for the coffin. I don't care where she goes. We need to go to the, the catacombs. If that is the, the crypt. Yeah. I mean, that would make sense if there's coffins there. Unless you guys want to split up. Bye. And then the All right, idea. hard pass. So, can we each grab a green stone and jump in the fire or whatever? I think there's only one green stone. I, I don't. Yeah, but we just have to all have our hands in the fire, I'm assuming. Okay. Are you going to wait for the hourglass to run out first, or are you going to chuck it in there while it's a funny color? I'm oh, just wait for the maybe, to maybe that'll oh, the, that the like... hourglass resets the, the portal time. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe you got 30 seconds so, to you get in it. That. You're well, the one that knows well, magic. If we, if the thing is still yellow, if we put our hands in there, will we get teleported to there? Well, it sounds like. Or do we have to have the physical stone as well? No, she threw it in. There was a burst of yellow flame, and then she threw her hand in. So if we touch the thing, the flame now will get teleported to where she went. I'm assuming. Yeah. 
But do we want to go where she went or do we want to go somewhere else? We don't want to go to the Masters 2 right now. <laughs> okay. No, I was just question. I don't think so. Well, 30 seconds isn't a long time to wait. Uh-uh. Well, all right. Mm. Unless anybody has wants to follow, I'm down with waiting. So does, does that yellow stone, is it just gone now? At the moment, it's gone. You'll have to wait for the hourglass to run out to see what happens. And I'm not sure what's up with the D&D &D Beyond overlay. Uh, I can take a quick peek when we get to a break to see if I can help troubleshoot that. Um, but I have the campaign set and I have the characters set. So it should work. Yeah, it should come. I mean, it comes up for me. Sure, it's a, fun, sure it's a funny word. Nothing that. important. No, a little bit important. We want you to see, we want you to check out these amazing characters out. Carefully crafted using decades of experience in Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, wait, that's the other campaign. Whipped together <laughs> over an evening. <laughs> I want to play a dwarf that acts like an elf. Yes. Frederick. That is exactly what we have. Dad, you can go have snack time. It's a half day, honey. So pack a snack. Then pack a snack. Okay, good night. Good night. Big hugs. Good night. We are actually going to, while we wait for that, roll the one. Uh, <laughs> we're hanging down the short visit repairs. Oh, that makes sense. Um, that might be something on their side. You might have to have a D&D &D Beyond account to see them. We are going to take a short five-minute stretch break while I tucked a little bit in. She actually has her first day of level four school tomorrow. She's like, cool. She is a fourth-level elementary student. So nice. I'm going to go kiss her goodnight and tuck her in, um, and we'll be right back, and I'll take a look at the D&D Beyond thing, and we'll see her back here in about five minutes. All right. Oh, no. And then he turns to you, Captainess oh, of my no. guards. Dispatch oh, them. No. Oh, no. Leaving the room was a great idea. Oh no! I told you we should have ran. We had a girl. We had to find one. It was good. To be re-roll. Yeah, re-roll it. Re-roll <laughs> it. The birds yeah, are yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Re <laughs> Everyone's in on these, the re-roll. I screwed these birds nice. up earlier. We need Come a on. high roll. We got yeah. this. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh my. So, um, Every time! I'm the bard uh, who does not want to be a. I'm really bad at being a bard. That is amazing. Worst bard ever. <laughs> um, Yikes. The good news Let's is, see. after this adventure, you can start taking levels of anything else. Anything else? <laughs> what the hell? Um. <laughs> Okay. As you seem to be doing really well with it. Ooh, Matt 20 uh, 25. Oh my god. Nice. Like shattered it. <laughs> wow. Well, you can roll your damage. I don't 25? Because <laughs> I got three sixes? <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Why She's hulked out. <laughs> Rage hard. Yeah, I think you should rage all the time. I think you I should like never rage. not, yeah. Yeah, this, never this not be raging. Well, There's where all two. our good rolls were hiding. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's why they were so bad earlier. We were saving up. But... Stop hitting my friends. <laughs> Oop, wrong They're way. damaged books with that kind of attitude. Well played. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think that we should just, uh, you know, you should be able to be who you want to be and not worry about the little stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, and thank you, by the way, for for hosting us over on your channel, uh, Shad. Oh. That we appreciate the, the 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 spreading the word out because that, that's always a good thing. Um, I do think. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting point there. Um, appropriating Egyptian culture as much. Yeah, there's there's something to be said there. I think though, when you say the the game is is escapism and not representation, I'm not sure how much I be, I agree with you on that. And here's and here's part of it. Um, not everybody I think has to come to an RPG to get to escape as much as they want to create. 
And sometimes, like, I don't, like, Grave can probably speak more to this than I can, but sometimes it's that exploring ourselves that can... I'm gonna go, common, mother clucker, do you speak it? <laughs> <laughs> we need some information. I'm not sorry, by the way. Yeah, sorry. I'm really excited for that. Uh, it's a cool opportunity, and I'm 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 really excited. Uh, but yeah, also it was it was my birthday Monday, and um, it's been it's been a week. <laughs> um, it's and I accepted a a job offer yesterday. So oh my goodness, yeah, oh my it's God. been it's been a week. It's just well, like okay, all right, life life needs to sit down maybe and let me catch my breath. <laughs> it's making up for last year all in one week. Having taken a, a holy order of some kind and other oaths. I'm thinking like an elven, like really. <laughs> That's what you said. Kung Fu Elfin Monk? Kung Fu Elfin Monk. Yes. Okay. Yes. That meditates a lot. <laughs> I can, I can, I can live with that. Because elves don't have to sleep as much, so totally right. Punch the, no, I know that's a bad idea. There is so much nope <laughs> surrounding this trap. I am not here for an amulet. I am here for a traumatized rogue. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's two. <laughs> well, I wasn't really concerned about the amulet. I just thought that you talking to me? Yeah. I don't know you. Who are you? Someone who's trying to be polite. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, reserve myself for now. She'll walk over to the chair. Just kind of be like, nice to meet you. My name. And there we are. We're back. So, yeah, we're just actually talking about off, off stream there about all the kids getting ready for their first day back to school for the first time in 18 months. Which is just. And here's here's the fun one. Our school district only maintains busing records for a year and a half. So when I contacted them and said, I haven't heard anything about my kids taking the bus tomorrow. They went, oh, we don't have a record that you need one. We throw out our records every year and a half. Jeez. Wow. Really going to adhere to that in this situation? <laughs> I, I think a lot, the bus is going to be pretty empty. <sighs> Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the, the teen, we, we live within a half a mile of the junior high school and the elementary school that uh, Kitty K goes to. So the teen's going to walk, and because there's only one bus that services the elementary, and it literally drives past our subdivision, it stops at the front of the sub and scoops up the kids on its when it heads out to do its all right-hand loops. Um, so we throw her on the bus then. Um, so, so she's geeked. Her backpack is packed. She's, she's, she, she was, I went up there to put Tucker in and she's taking time to get her snack ready. So she's taking tzatziki flavored Triscuits for a snack. Ooh. Nice. Cause that's, yeah, cool. that's how Kitty K rolls. Um, <laughs> so, and in fact, if you check back on the VODs, there's, um, you can see last Sunday we were painting minis together and she's a, a hoot and a, a hoot and three quarters. Um, we last left you. You were pondering what to do with the brazier. The the timer is running down. And I'm I'm un, I'm of the assumption your intention is to let the timer run out and then see if everything goes okay. Sounds good to me. Yep. I didn't like There's the one second anyway. left, I jump in. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> That would be Adam messing with the DM. Uh, knowing for a fact that he doesn't like splitting the party. <laughs> um, eventually, the, the hourglass runs out and there's a loud clank as the chains above it work to flip it over. And once again, the sand remains suspended in the upper half of it. An investigation of the brazier reveals that a yellow gem has appeared in one of the indentations along its rim. Okay. Super cool. Fancy magic. Yeah. yeah. I want one of those for my manor. 
<laughs> right, you don't need an elevator if you have teleporting fire pits. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. <laughs> All right, so we we going green? Yeah, let's go green. Yeah, All right, I are. pick up and throw a green rock to the fire. Okay. Rob is thinking. It should be straightforward. It turns green and we're all going to jump in. It should be. Rob is processing. <laughs> Rob is going to go with it because WTF. It's Ravenloft. Anything could happen. Um. Yeah, you chuck the green stone in and the brazier bursts into bright green light. Um. Are you each taking a turn to put your hand in? Or are you doing the everyone grab hands at one person reaches? We all put our hands in. We don't know how that Wait. magic works. You one, two, three, we yeah, all stick a hand in. Uh, everybody, yeah, we'll, we'll bundy on three. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, you circle the brazier as the timer above runs down steadily. Uh, as Seki gives a nod, you each lower your hand into the green flames Arabelle glances up at the the engraving. I have a bad feeling about this. This is not a good. And then you are all sucked into the flame. You feel every particle in your body crushed into absolute nothingness. And reality ceases to exist. For a moment... You recognize that you are an insignificant part in a massive universe spiraling in a collection of universes created by multiple choices, billions upon billions of existences simultaneously occurring as every single permutation of existence is played out in its own separate reality. As you contemplate the nothingness, which is your part in that grand scheme, you burst back into reality as you are completely reassembled full shape and you collapse gasping as your lungs fill with air after what seems like an eternity are you a time god now you blink a few times and look around the shabby ramshackle warehouse stacks of wooden boxes line the walls and multiple coffins are stacked against one side the room is black and the rain beats against the glass and you just faintly hear the sounds of something growling get them i would love a girl for initiative oh no rain was not go I wasn't sure about it. Or it's like green is go into combat. <laughs> Rob's got to go find the map now. It's in a different part of the book. Grumble, 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 grumble. I was curious what you were going to do there. <laughs> uh, mad props for those that are unfamiliar. Uh, Adam has actually run uh, Curse of Strahd and therefore has a little bit more knowledge about what's coming than the rest of the party does. Uh, but he's good about keeping quiet. At key moments. So. I kinda that's what makes go... this uh, so fun. Is it's trial by many, many, many errors. Yep. <laughs> well, this is. I kind of wanted to go. With that's more. how you get through this. <laughs> this. This is a very. This is a. I, I'm. The reason I paused is how much of a setback this is. But you know what? It ain't my story. Oh no. <laughs> I don't. I don't make it to rules. I simply adjudicate the questions. I wanted to go with red for lore because maybe we would find out something. I figured you'd go straight after the master. Cut I this mandy pandy follow. stuff out and just. Yeah, I figured. I want lore. my raven kind idol back. <laughs> I thought we were going to follow her because clearly she, I don't know, she knows where she's going. No, that's the white rabbit. That's where they want you to go. Yeah. Um... Go down the rabbit hole. Okay, hang on. Now let me see. I got to clean up the initiative tracker. So we clear that off. Wipe those off. Uh, put on some NPCs. 
Oh, Lord. You guys have created such a wonderful little headache for me. Did you mean sorry. to do that? No, you're not. You are so, you are so We're not looking sorry. looking for the crypt. Is this the crypt? <laughs> Get him. What? This this is not the I do that. Yeah. This is so not the crypt. Well, then that's just bad directions. It just says where the coffins are, not the, the, the crypt. Coffins are usually the crypt. percent chance you end up in a morgue or you end up in a crypt. Where else do <laughs> coffins hang out? Well, like, are we going to come out of, like, Steve's Coffin Emporium? Like, oh my gosh, we're back across. <laughs> it's just know, where dead people are. They might that. be in tombs. It's so funny. You say, what, what are we going to end up in Steve's Coffin Emporium? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, is this going to take us back to the place that we were? Back into his old uh, digs? At least we can go check out our vampire lady. Yeah. I was going to say that too, yeah. And we found the way out. Is that what you did? I don't know. I don't know what I've done. We're, we're just uh, Why would you supposing? have a portal all the way to the Steve's Coffin Emporium, but then he has to send everything by boat? Well, all I know is that the DM said you have chosen poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. That's all I know. <laughs> that, indeed, the DM has spoken thus. <laughs> of all uh, the choices we have made terrible but you know what hey if it works for you and you don't end up dead it's okay uh all right so let's get this shindig off on That's the like road if though right if well yeah you did drop in on a wonderful situation so 17 uh four is this on is this on 18 12 uh this is <laughs> on yes Okay. And 15. Bunk. Okay. So you appear in a circle. The good news is we're back to five foot squares, which makes me very happy. So we have, <laughs> in no particular order, Azteki, Dagon, Frederick, Samara, Irina. Arabelle. And we have V. One, two, three. I believe that's the right number. I'm going to refresh. Yep. I had to refresh the initiative tracker to get everything to pop up. There are three. Uh, just going to keep the math easy. I'm going to leave the spawn on the on the label. So three lesser vampires and one greater vampire dressed very regally. Oh man, not we can keep the clothes in good condition. Not guys. that regally. This isn't the <laughs> big guy. Fancy. This isn't the big guy. The big guy, if you were curious to know at this moment, is currently killing a maid who is desperately trying to explain that she was sure you were going to follow her. I knew it. <laughs> I'm all torn up about it. <laughs> Hashtag not really. <laughs> nah, law. Hashtag no. It uh, wasn't like quick this way or anything like that. It's yeah, just like, like, I'm running. Well, you go do what you're going to do. We're going to go do something else. Um... The first one that can act as two, which is literally pouncing on Arabelle, who's like right sink in there and is going to just rip her to shreds uh, oh, no. and is going to take the damage. She's not happy with a turncoat among the Vistani. She's not going to try and grapple her. She's just going to kill her, which is unfortunate. Number three, which is also right there facing Dagon is going to not try to bite Dagon because that would be stupid. He smells funny. <laughs> he smells gross. Um, and is unable to, to bash her way through his defenses. Which brings us to Frederick. I'm going to shoot 
number two that's trying to kill Arabelle. Okay. Um, you're shooting. You are at disadvantage. It is threatening your square. Or better put, uh, you, you just notice that if you mouse away from it, the little red arrow points at you. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what happens? Um, All of us gave three, Joe. Got you. They got to hammer that out better. Oh, you know what? I'll use Zephyr Strike. I'll use another spell. Oh, to give yourself advantage? Well, also so I could move out of threat. Where are you going to move to that's not going to be in threat? I'm curious how you intend to play this. Just over here? Oh, I didn't mean to touch it. No, that's me moving it around. I'm just trying to get to line up better because I'm being OCD. Like over there so that I wouldn't be at disadvantage. Okay. And Zephyr Strike does not provoke a tax opportunity when you move? Yes. Oh, I hate Rangers. (laughs) Okay. Um, Frederick is now over here. Do the sharpshooter bit. Because I have advantage. Thirteen, I think. These are not zombies. They actually move around a bit. Thirteen's not going to hit. Oh, I have a 29 as well. Oh, but the 29 does. Uh, But that would would be down to 24 with minus five. That's still going to hit. They are undead. Uh, so then I get one, two. Nice. That's a solid amount of damage. So that's 36 damage. That's that's going to wake her up. She's not happy about that moment. Well, I would hope that she would leave Arabella alone. And I'm going to shoot her again. I. <laughs> well, can I shoot her again? I get two attacks. Well, didn't you use two attacks already? No, I had advantage from Zephyr Strike. Uh, okay. Yeah, go for it. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> Far be it for me to, to make you push and turn before you've done everything you can do. I've got to do everything I can do. Is that modified? No. Is that any? Is that going to work? A 16 will hit. All right, cool. Throw down the damage dice. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Mm, why 2d8? Is Zephyr Strike still uh, active? No, not Zephyr Strike. Colossus Slayer. Da. Ah. God, I... <laughs> you know, forget bounded accuracy. You're just doling out insane amounts of damage in a turn. I look at these hit point holes. I'm like, these are going to be epic battles. And it's like, oh, that's right. No, they're not. <laughs> they're still, they're still going to be epic. You made Swiss cheese out of these vampires. I'm shooting sunlight into vampires. So it's not be anyway. good for them. It's a team effort. No, he's not wrong right? though. Yeah. He is slinging actual sunlight into vampires. That's true. I mean, do they really <clears throat> stand a chance against? He them? has some advantage. <laughs> Does the bow em- like emanate sunlight as well? Oh yeah, the room is lit. Is it hurting the vampires? Yeah, I don't know what happened. My wife went upstairs, and all of a sudden the TV turned like wicked high volume. Oh, no, that that was the room is lit. The room is lit. The room is oh. lit. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were you were jiving to the the crazy hip hop music blasting over here. No, 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 no. That was a, a lit joke. Um, no, it's not that kind of sunlight. Why not both? Indeed. How are the chocolates, Gadgetman? I, 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 I tried to catch you early in the stream. Gadgetman Guido, as a s- slight pause, was the big winner during my anniversary giveaway and got a box of chocolate from Sweet Steam, uh, who are one of our sponsors. Nice. So, Sweet. yes. And I tried to catch you, and I, 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 I looked, and you weren't on yet. And by the time I looked again, you were like two hours in. I, <laughs> I told you it was a gift pack. Don't eat them all at once. You'll get sick. Um, okay, back to the actual thing that you all really care about. What's good Samara going to do in this moment? By now, Nebula has come to a decision, and Samara is going to... He is going to just uh, firebolt uh, in the face. One that's in front of me, the number three. 
Okay. You're yes. at roll oh. with disadvantage. Because you're in melee. I'm in melee. That's right. He's right in front of me. Yep. Can I... Oh, shit. I was going to say, can I... I would have to misty step in order to avoid getting um, hit yeah. right. That is an option. You can also burning hands. Good. Which does not, and, and is not thought, an attack roll. I thought about that, but then I'm only going to get that one in there. Am I? Can I get more than one? Uh, you're only going to get one from where you're currently standing. Yeah. Okay. You'd have to, you'd have to like. Can do one and well, you could turn somewhere. around and you could blast the the other ones through Azteki and just protect him from the blast with your thing. You just shape it around him. I like the idea of you getting away from the vampires, though. Just saying. <laughs> I can hold my own against the Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. <laughs> the big vampire? The one that straight, 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 like actually says big vampire. Okay, so then yeah, I think I'll uh I'll misty step to um maybe somewhere over here. Ish. Ish. Okay. Not a problem. Samara so pops her misty step as her bonus action. Yes. And then and then I'll I'll use a firebolt to hit the Hit three? Three, yeah, number three. Okay. I would also posit a fireball dropped here would catch these guys. Well, actually, you could drop oh, a fireball right here and shape it around the party, too. Yeah, I was about to say, or <laughs> right there. Yeah. Now, that said, I'm what also going to say fireball your own feet. Wood, wood, wood. Wood, wood. Yeah, that was wood, my hesitation. Wood, cause... wood. But is it covered in wine? This <laughs> wine is <laughs> unflammable. Just you know, a thought. Okay. So, fireball for now. We, we can always upgrade later. Roll me an attack roll. Yeah, cause I'm scared of setting everything on fire. Again, no, you're not. Again. I mean, again, yes. Well, and the fact that we're we would be surrounded by it, you know, I don't know. There are windows. It's raining outside. You're not even sure where you are right now. So there's no harm in setting it ablaze. And we find out after the fact. We're on the roof of a children's hospital. uh, uh, An orphanage. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. All the children. It's the vampire orphanage. All right. Get the attack roll down. Let's see how this turns out. Do we feel bad about killing orphan vampires? No. I mean, two D10, eight damage. Number three uh, is kind of unfazed by that. It kind of, it barely even registers on it that you are over there doing a thing. Oven roasted to perfection, indeed. What's Azteki doing? I'm going to smack the big vampire guy. You are. Look at you. Why not? I'll big paladin i I'm totally going to smite him. All right. And, and I'm going to put Steve on him just for good measure. Okay. Steve likes to harry your bosses, apparently. Now, if I he remember right, involved. that means he doesn't get a tax opportunity? Yeah. Okay. He is harried. Is it, is it a tax of opportunity or is it uh, bonus actions? Cannot use reactions. Reactions, okay. So. All right, so I one sw- first swing is thirteen. Uh, thirteen is so not gonna miss, or not hit you. Oh, okay. You flail into it left and right, and it sort of dodge blocks. And at one point, even grabs the chain of the flail and pushes it back again. <laughs> Ooh, he's salty. All right. Well, I'm going to take that momentum and swing it back right at his face. And this yeah, time, that's right. you roll a... 72. And you hit. Yeah. <laughs> so I get my 1D, and then with the smite, I get three more something, right? D8? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Okay. Yep. Doing it. Where's the eight? 
Okay. okay there we go. One. And then you have the question of whether or not you want to... Okay, so that's 23 damage. Do you want to move it five feet? Oh, yeah, I want to move it five feet. <laughs> Let's do synergy bonus. Okay, <laughs> so it takes 23 damage, which includes divine magic, divine damage, so yeah. yay for radiant, and then you want to push it five feet in a direction. Yeah, into the crates. I want Hell to yeah. bash him right into the crates. <laughs> All slow-mo style. And when he falls in, a piece splinters and stabs him right in the heart. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I, I like your I like your thinking. I like your thinking. Right. You know what? It's dramatic. Here, here, let's just see. I'll roll a deck save. He makes his deck save. By a significant oh. margin. Does he land on top of the box then instead of inside of the box? No, he's like he gets thrown up into the pile of boards. Oh, okay. They splintered um, fantastically like in any nineties movie. Let's see. What's up a little bit? Can you wake me up? I will. Thank you. Give me a kiss. Okay. Good night. Good night. Night. Good night. Good night. Say good night to everybody. There we go. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow? Yes. All right. Good go luck at school. Go get sleep. <laughs> uh yep. I'm just taking a moment to embrace the fact that she's going back to school after a year and a half. She's gonna she's gonna sit in the classroom with thirty other little germ boxes. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. She'll be fine. Okay. Um Arabelle for her action is actually going to pull out a um she's gonna summon up a shadow blade and then have zero effect with it. And she tries to defend herself against that one vampire that is eating her face. So she did her best. It was not good enough. <laughs> um, so your graphic for the vampire popped in me giggle. Hey, that's a good one, isn't it? I like that one. Uh, I think this guy is going to um not do that not do this he's going to do this he's going to jump up and go after Azteki. okay um hmm that's a twist so um Azteki first takes no damage um Give me a strength save. Can do. Can do. What's that? 20. Okay. It grabs onto Azteki and starts to wrestle him. Azteki pushes off and away and then gets cold cocked with a clenched fist. Sad about it. Uh, taking your DC is your DR is three, right? Yes, please. Just taking three damage from it. Oh, okay. Well, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got, like, slapped. His his plan did not quite work. He rolled really well, but so did you. So we'll let that slide for now. Number Good one, job. however, is going to take this opportunity to also do the same kind of thing. Um, Actually, she's just going to lay into it into you. Um. And connect again for another three. Damage reduction, baby. That's gonna it, MVP, man. You're whittling yeah. down. What's Dagon doing? Dagon looks around. And he's just like, "Ah, oh, son of a bitch!" And he rages. <laughs> <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I'll make my my two long sword attacks on vampire. Three. All right, your mark is raging. You have to do damage or take damage to keep the rage active. Your bonus action activated rage. Also, pro tip: you should that'll hit. You should always use two weapons when raging because if you miss with one, and then your AC holds so you don't get hit, your rage disappears. 
Which makes me so that's sad. ten damage because there's plus two for raging. Plus two for raging, so ten damage from the magic longsword, and that's again. And then the second attack, the one right in front of you. So that's three. Uh, oh, can that's... I go reckless attacks? You can. I might as well. I'm doing it. All right, you're going reckless. Ah, damn it! Fourteen is that hit? Fourteen is not going to hit. Damn it! Um, Should have blessed the party. Yes. All yep. right. Uh, yeah, that's that's it's all I got. In the face, that's all I got for this turn. You don't have a oh, your bone, your bone. Yeah, that's right. Bonus was to activate rage. Uh, you hit. You did do damage though, so you're gonna keep rage. Oh yeah. I, I mean, oh yeah. Cannot do a lot. Uh, actually, she can't do much of anything. She tries desperately to assist in that fight with number three. Um. She just, yeah, she's not getting through its defenses with her rapier. It's too fast. Uh, two, for their part, is going to, uh, hmm. It's going to stay on Irina for, or stay on Arabelle for now because it can. And it doesn't want to provoke a tax of opportunity when it leaves. So it's going to claw. It hits. It's going to choose not to do damage. It's going to connect for the bite. Uh, let's see. Arabelle does get a strength save. She fails it. You got plus two. She didn't hit it by enough. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and you watch as the vampire wraps up Arabelle in her arms and just starts feeding on her. That's a problem. Yeah, that would definitely be what I would call a problem. Uh, three. Yeah, it's going to keep playing patty cake with Dagon. Uh, they get advantage on all their attacks against me. I know. But you only take half damage. Uh, okay, you only got hit once. Oh, Nice. And it's not going to try to grapple you because that would be stupid. So you just take 10 damage. Oh, wait, but you take half of it. So you take five. Because it's a, it's it's, a lot better than dead. It's just slashing damage. So yay rage. And that gives us a Frederick. Um, let's see if I can't kill the one that's on Arabelle. Okay. Um, you are firing into three quarter cover. It's fine. I can ignore anything except for full cover. I hate rangers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sharpshooter feet. All of his games moving forward will be like, all right, you guys can play pretty much whatever you want except for rangers. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't get both. Really, it was really funny because so like post doing this, I was looking up uh, ranger feats because I was like, what do I want to do? And everyone's like, the the perfect ranger is everything I pick except for an elf, and then hand crossbows. And you just snipe with hand crossbows, um, and then you can get an additional attack with your bonus action. So even though you're hitting for less damage, it doesn't matter because you're getting that flat plus ten. I was like, oh, geez, that's insane. <laughs> That that's the point where you and I sit down and say, "Okay, we're going to rethink this." Okay. Well, and that's okay. the thing. I didn't uh, take your shots. I didn't min max it, but take I was like, "Hey, it's almost like it did." You 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 yes. did min max. You just didn't min max on purpose. <laughs> I right. call that the the demon hunter bill. But do, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what it is like. Yep. All right. So you definitely hit. Give me a pile of damage. I'm going to reroll that two. I don't get a to a seven. That's a nice upgrade. So that's what? 12, 13? Yeah. No, 23. No. 13 and 6, 19. 19. 19. Okay. Any other bonuses? Nope. Second shot. Take it. Taking it. The good news is you guys are doing all kinds of good damage against these things. A dirty 20. A dirty 20? A dirty 20. Okay. It's a it's a 20 with modifiers. 
Oh, it never finished rolling on my screen. Can you see my proceeding dice? Yep, nine damage. Okay, and then it um, and just two more. one D8. I'm going to refresh because I'm not seeing the rolls. Okay, so that's another 11, and that thing is dead. It, it erupts in a burst of sunlight and flame, showering Arabelle with dust as it explodes. She coughs a few times and uh, grins wryly at Frederick. <laughs> okay. She has been deloused. <laughs> <laughs> it's unalive now. Good point, Gadget Man. It's, great. it's not dead, it's unalive. Redead. It's dead again. It's redead. It's yeah. redead. Redead. Indebted. Dead it again. No, lo no longer in this plane of existence. How about that? Cremated. Sunburned. Deader. Sunburned. Deader. Deader. Okay, we'll take deader. Um, Samara, you're, you're up. Dead. You're most dead. All right. So okay. How are you? Well, how are you going to stay relevant? Yeah, exactly. Well, clearly, there's one choice here, <laughs> and that is a fireball. Oh, geez. <laughs> it went from fireball to, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's drop uh, the fireball. Uh, 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 that thing's escalating quickly on that one. <laughs> Wait until after people get their face eaten. Yeah. Okay, so... When we get our character art done, I am going to definitely have a coffee mug that has a picture of Samara, and, and I'm going to have that quote. Clearly, there is only one choice here, and it is Fireball. <laughs> that, that is yeah. merch that is coming soon to the Lantern Noir store. <laughs> the thing. Uh, All right. Where are you? <laughs> We're gonna put it right, right, in, you know, where it's gonna be most effective, and take try to take out, you know, right on, you know? <laughs> many of these people. Okay, you roll your damage. <laughs> I'll have them roll their saves. Uh, oh my god, I'll never get like tired of seeing that like. Flurry of dice. And you get another <laughs> two on top of that because I see two ones. Yeah, there's two ones. Twenty-seven damage. Let's see how they do with their deck saves. Makes it. Okay, good for them. So that. And deck save fails it. And deck save fails it. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of fire now. So you might want to be careful where you walk. Uh, be mindful. Is yeah. the vampire that was on the wood on fire now? So be mindful of the fire. Fire, 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 <laughs> fire, 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 fire. There's always a risk of this whenever, fire. We, uh, whenever we bring her out. <laughs> This is why we had to leave town during the like the mage fight. <laughs> they were gonna blame her for it. They'd be like, "She just she has a pen champ for blowing things up." Come on, <laughs> you know this was her. It's what she does, right? We've saved all the villagers. Yes, but all of our homes are burnt to ashes. Where do we live? Where, Where do we, we go live? now? Well, I don't know. You it's just asked over. us to save you, so we did. We are now job creators. <laughs> 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 okay, we are on Azteki. Hmm. Oh, man. All right. So, what's the status on uh, on the vampire that's in the fire? Can I swing on him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. He's got more coming. Got to rake him into some more fire. Yeah. Uh. 16? Uh, 16 is, I think, not going to be good enough. Oh, nope. no. 16 will hit. All right, okay. good. I'm going to smite him again. So he can get some holy flame with his regular again. fire. It was two, it was three d eight. So eight damage for your base. You're popping a super spell slot to add another 
17 damage for 25. Oh, it's not a super spell slot. That's level one, right? Yeah, yeah. that's level one. Oh. Yeah, because you get you get oh, two yeah. plus undead. That's right. That's I'm right. I'm trying to save the, the... I only have one super spell left, so... Yeah, you've got him actually into bloodied. Nice. I give you credit for that. I can do damage. Yes, you can. You got one more uh, attack. Oh, here. yeah. And I, and I got nope. another swing. You Are you going to move him five feet into more fire? Yeah. Do you want to move <laughs> him five feet away? No, because then I can't swing on him. You Bro, can move him five feet closer to you into that fire. More fire, yeah. Yeah. yeah you, when you hit him again, you can move him, him up back there. across into the rest of the fire. Oh, I like the idea. <laughs> no, you can only move him once per turn. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, if I remember correctly. Okay, so you're leaving you him connect, where he is? You can move it once per round, okay. but it would be funny. All right, so I'm not, I'm not going to move him. I'm going to swing on him. Second attack? Yeah, let's see if I connect. And I don't. And you womp, don't. Womp. <laughs> okay. That's fair. You did a lot of damage already. Yes, you did. I'll take it. You definitely did okay. Arabelle's going to do her part. Just get up and run away and heal herself. Um, no, she's going to use her move to get around everything and throw herself into the fight. She's nice. Oh, wow, why? Because she doesn't want to not do her part. I like this one. Yeah, she's she's down with this. She does six psychic damage to that vampire. That's cool, I guess. With that shadow blade she's holding. Frederick is disappointed. <laughs> uh, get yourself out of danger. Yeah, I'm like, please don't please don't die weapon against Strahd. We need you. <laughs> Um, More important. Speaking of which, big scary vampire. Um, I think it's time to stop messing around. He is big and scary. Uh, oh, that's only that one gets those things. Well, that makes me sad. Huh. Oh, well. Such is the way of things. Okay, um, it is going to, A, step out of the fire. Good move. Yeah, that, that seemed like a good move. It's still staying where it can throw. Oh, no. You know what it's going to do? It's uh, It's identified what's going on in this fight. It's going to fight its way around Azteki, and then turn its attention to Irina. Do I get, like, an no. attack of opportunity on that? Nope, because it never leaves your threatened square. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I do get to intercede to help Irina. You do get to intercede, so you can uh, you can evoke um, disadvantage on its first attack. Yep. Which is, you know, fine, as far as it goes. <laughs> um... It has disadvantage. It does not connect on its first hit. Nice. It's second. Good job, Azteki. Still does not connect. You're welcome. God That's bless MVP Azteki. <laughs> he, he, he put a tank in a game that doesn't have tanks. Classic Azteki. <laughs> Who's going to then bear the brunt of this other vampire just eating your face? It's my job. <laughs> okay. Um, it does not do a ton of damage, but it will whittle away another four. Feels as, good. As that other vampire continues to batter away at you and whittle you down. What's Dagon doing? So is that a window behind uh, my vampire? Yep. All right. I like where so, this is headed. <laughs> so seeing that that uh, Brad Pitt vampire go after Irina, um, my uh, my Irina sense pings, and I would like to try uh, to use a pushing attack 
to push that vampire that's on me out the window. Okay. We'll go with that. Kung Fu moves in here. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, and I'm going to go Reckless Attack, too. Oh, sweet. Nat 20. Whoa. Oh. Through that window and the Hell window yeah. across the way. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Lands Into the neighbor's home. Room table. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. And then does the D8 Ooh. also double on a crit for the, the battle maneuver? I assume so. All right. There you go. <laughs> Put the way to re-roll that. <laughs> there you go. 30 damage. Yeah, you, you wanted Sweet. to see this. It was going to look cool. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. And then it's a, it's what, a strength saving throw. DC 15. C15. All right. It is pushed five feet. Uh, 15 feet. 15 feet. Yeah. Oh, that would actually be out the so that, window. Yeah, that bitch is going right out the window. <laughs> it blasts out the window. I'm going to just throw some dice behind my screen here. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to do that. <laughs> so you hear the clack of, of dice behind my screen. Um, You just... Bam, like heart, you know, Sparta kick style. Kick her through the window, and there's a burst of glass. And as near as you can tell, she has disappeared out of view. That works for me because all I needed to do is get to Irina. So now I will, uh, let's see, where am I at here? Yeah, I'll just turn and bull rush right into that vampire, and I'll take my, uh, my other two attacks. <sighs> Finish them all for me. I teed you up. Finish it. Yeah, the, the tag comes and Dagan comes in with the steel chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off the ropes. Fourteen's <laughs> not going to hit. Tag team. All right. Well, let's, let's try the. Uh, let's see. So this is just a normal longsword. Yeah. But. Does a 15 hit him? No. Bah, bummer. No, he's he's a little tougher. You do have that plus two from Juggernaut earlier. Do you want to throw it now? Uh, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? The plus two would have given him for the 14. 14 would have hit with a plus two. Do that one. Magic yeah, all right, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's do the magic longsword. We'll throw that, and then it will, it will hit with it. Do, give me damage from the magic longsword. All right, so there's the damage, and then I will also attempt to trip him with a trip attack. Okay. Uh, so that up, is, uh, but gets up let's again. see, yeah, it's another strength saving throw, DC so 15. He takes 14 damage. It's magical. He has to make a DC what? Uh, 15 strength save. He, he laughs at the feeble attempt to topple him. Now, you, you you execute the trip, and it's one of those smooth, like, you know, drop to a knee, spin out, catch his leg. And it's supposed to, like, just leverage him up and over, and he doesn't move. Like, he just powers back against it. It's the Jackie Chan thing where he just goes, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Dagon is part monk. Well, no, he's a brawler. Like this is very, you could you could see things like this trip attack and the big Sparta kick as monkey, or you could see it as like barroom brawly. Yeah, Dagon is is very much less finesse and more just like Force. bust your teeth and <laughs> repeated oh. punching. Oh yeah, we've got your bonus action. So it is Irina's action. She's going to do what little she can do, but she's she's yeah okay, she's trying. She's doing her. We part. respect her. We respect the try. Um, mm -hmm. Three is going to move its use its entire move action. Uh, this window bursts outwards as uh, a, vam a vampire comes bursting in through it. Oh, not cool, man! Vampires go out the window, not in. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you learn your lesson yet? <laughs> Yeah, Samara has just time to look over her shoulder and see what right. looks like a bat flying straight at the window. And the bat just elongates into an entire person. And the camera has that nice tight shot of Samara's eyes go, <laughs> as, and then we cut 
to that side view of the window exploding out over Samara. I told you the bar is closed. Now, how do I roll? (laughs) I'll take those. Samara takes 14 damage. (laughs) As she gets blasted from behind by a vampire coming back in through the window. So there's three. That's not a three. That's an S. That's a three. And that's an S for Samara. He's going to start pulling hair and pulling jerseys. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I pull my hockey stick off my back. <laughs> uh, this cricket bat Jones this shit. given to me as a gift by the queen. Sorry. Uh, what's Frederick doing? I want to shoot Vampire 3. You spin as the window crashes open? Yeah, like, no, literally slow-mo, vampires diving in, Samar gets pushed back, and then it would just turn to focus, unleash <laughs> the arrow. Okay. My hope is that I hit her with this shot, and before she actually hits the ground, she just goes back out the window and explodes. <laughs> <laughs> the angle's not quite right for that. It's a magic arrow. It It is a magic arrow. So let's see. Uh that shot will cause damage. that shot will cause her to burst into flame. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Frederick. <laughs> You're welcome. And then I'm going to step in and shoot at the big boy vampire. Okay. That's going to hit six and... I'm going to re-roll the one after that lands. Okay. Not much better. So that's eight, 14. Mm-hmm. He's taking it on the chin. And I mean, I'm... big vampire boy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the only time. <laughs> What's Samara up to? Besides well, bleeding. Now, yeah. <clears throat> now that I'm like horribly maimed. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think I'm going to try my hand at shooting at the um, the vampire, the, the big bad vampire. With a scorching ray. Oh. Um, let's see. Nothing fancy. We're just going to do second level. Uh, so we're going to do that. And let's see. A hit. That's one hit. You get how many rays at second level? Three. 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 Yep. Yeah. So keep going. Hold on. One hit. <laughs> one hit so far. Do we get a second hit? Two hits. Nice. Nice. How do you like that, Brad Pitt? Well, neither of those damage rolls were great. Yeah, (laughs) but the ones are twos. So that's five and four. That's nine. Oh, I can see the other one, yeah. That's not bad. It's not not like you popped a fireball on him or something. No. (laughs) We already tried that once. (laughs) We got to try something else, yeah. So what's that's Techie doing? I, I'm gonna keep swinging at the uh, big vampire dude. I'm gonna use quicken spell, and then I'm also in my as my bonus action gonna cast fireball again. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I remember when meta magic feats were dumb like that. <laughs> just like oh yeah, let me just go. You're dead. Seventeen connect. Seventeen connects. Hey. Four. <laughs> for four are you nice. gonna smite him no i'm running low on spells that would be my last spell but i i feel like we kind of need it but what, what's the initiative look like let me let me look like the initiative real quick is it arabelle goes then it goes the other vampire goes all right i'm gonna smite it 
I'll I'll save just one big one in case of emergencies. <laughs> so, one, two, three. Let's see. Oh my was... God! All right. Well, that was that was. Sourcing wow. ready. Take this. <laughs> Interview with some pain there, vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Peace the power of the sun. <laughs> that's some now you got something to feel bad about. That's legit. Louis. That's legit. <laughs> that is so legit. Some real depression and for you. I'm knocking him into the fire. Because <laughs> I can do that. Get back in that fire. Get back in the fire. Get in there. And I'm gonna let you have those last five hit points with that move. Yes. As you, as you Bash him back into the fire. He just this guy back and forth. He, he stumbles back into the fire, and the fire engulfs the, his clothes finally. And he lets out a final howl into the night and just poof, dust. Uh, let's see. Airbell is. You don't have to clean up after him anymore. Going to drop her shadow blade because she doesn't want to run over there. Um. And it's going to pop a ray of frost. That seems like a good move. Hits for seven. Nice. So she does her part. Um, and that puts us at the vampire spawn, who is going to, has not taken damage, so should heal. Um, and then I think is going to turn towards the let's see she's there Azteki will get an attack of opportunity all right as she turns and starts to run towards that window in the south wall fourteen I don't believe is gonna hit nope Lucky. nope and she bursts out that window and you watch as she trans as she you know she sh shatters the window as she goes through it, throws her arms out to the side, and then poof, down into a bat. Saved us the trouble of throwing her out the window. <laughs> Absolute win. Yeah. I just want to put out the fire with the rain frosts again. <laughs> that worked really well last time. And let it burn. I don't know where we are. <laughs> if it matters. Airbell will instinctively start trying to put the fires out. Yeah, I'm like, the, the reason it matters is because we're in this building right now and it's not the first floor. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, so there's no, like, portal thingy. We just, it was like a one-way trip. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it, there's... I'm a, sad about that. Like, there's a return trip. <laughs> All right, is there a stagecoach out front? Yeah, where are we? <laughs> yeah. I have reinvited you to dinner. <laughs> uh, we respectfully decline. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, D Dango, he doesn't care about the fire. He's like, if there's a teleport to this place from Strahd, let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, it can't be. But we should exit stage left before we yeah, uh, get out of the house. Yeah, yeah, before we die to smoke inhalation. Do we recognize the building? Is this the building we had the fight with the other vampires with? As you make your way down the stairs, you immediately recognize this as the coffin maker's house. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm like, what this, I thought too. I'm surprised that it got repaired <laughs> since last time we almost. <laughs> well, it. it shows them. It's been a few days. He's had a chance to try to, like, actually, as you go down, you realize it hasn't been very repaired. Mm. It's, yeah, because there were holes in the more, walls. There were literally holes in the walls. Yeah. Yeah, it has not been repaired greatly since your last visit, uh, but it has been being used apparently as a staging ground. What kind of a use is the one-way portal? It Let's might go be, ahead and let it burn. It might but, be ash now because it's on fire. <laughs> yeah, let it burn. Air, Airball, as you as you head out, we'll we'll glance around. Is these vice? There are a lot of people in this town. The fire will not stay yeah. at just one right. building. Let's put out the fire then. Is there? All right. 
if I must. Like, do I have a bear trap? Can I just put like a bear trap down? Yeah, <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of spikes. <laughs> we'll, we'll put out the thing and, and leave some dynamite. I'll, 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 help <laughs> I'll help Arabelle put out the fire with, you know, Ray of Froth. Mm, it's up to you. I'm just as you look out the windows, you are in the middle of Velaki. Damn it. Oh, this is a crazy manic town. <laughs> All right, everybody get your smiles ready. Uh, uh, Dag Dagan will pull out one of his cigars and just light it on one of the things that's burning. <laughs> as he he's not, he's not going to help. As he, as he it... puffs on it, you notice puffs of smoke literally coming out his side. That's what I was going to say. Is it just coming out <laughs> the various holes? Oh, no. What are we going to do? I guess we got to go back. What Sorry, is guys. your plan as you as you gather up on the front stoop of the coffin maker's house? It's we could late. Take, uh, we could go hide in a church that is still holy and see if we can rest because we haven't rested. In... I might not be able to enter it. I was going to say that because now Dagan's undead. So I don't know. If I'll put in me. a good word with God. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's how it works, right? <laughs> I'm just being like, excuse me, excuse can, me? I, can I talk to somebody and get this guy on the list? He's, he's with me. He's, he's an okay undead. We, we like this one. Well, the other, those other revenants got in there to get Irina, right? That's yeah, true. so it can't be that yeah, powerful. Okay. Huh. Well, well, we can hang out with the revenants. I'll just put a pinky through the doorway first. We'll test it. Pinky, if my pinky incinerates, I'll be like, all right, I'll just sleep out here, guys. Well, actually, I'll just stand out here, guys. <laughs> don't sleep anymore. Hey, standing watch is kind of good anyway. So out of curiosity, um, how are you moving through town? I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. Okay. That's Problem a, solved. That's a he good answer. Rangers. That's a good answer. <laughs> With a plus 10, right? Yeah, everybody gets a plus 10 and advantage. And advantage. Level right. 2 spell, baby. <laughs> there we go. 31. Jeez. You make your way through town to the, the church. Um, keeping the shadows, staying off the, the main paths. Uh, running up and down alleys as the guards uh, walk around on their routes. The rain has definitely taken its toll on the happiness in town. Uh, which, you know, you pass a few people that you can, you spot a few people making their way through the rain from point A to point B. Uh, but it is the same dreary place you left some time ago. You arrive at the church, uh, let yourselves in. Dagon does not burst into flame upon crossing the threshold. Hey! Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you know, but I, I am getting kind of itchy, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a rat. Yeah. Am I getting hives? <laughs> They're blue. Why, why are his hives blue? <laughs> Here, just put some cortisone cream on it. You'll be fine. Yeah, it'll heal. It'll does heal. Does he have natural processes of healing anymore? Gotta have something. I just have to eat some brains. Ah. <laughs> well, as long as they're ethically sourced brains, we're okay with that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, where's that dude with the shovel? I'll just go eat his brains real quick. I'll allow it. Uh, anything interesting as you make your camp for the night? Sure I, I would just the... like to apologize to the party. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not let's, a good problem solver let's or, go to where or they, riddler. Let's go to where they make the coffins. He said. It, it said where the coffins are. Where the coffins hide. <laughs> oh, where the coffins. It didn't say where they are. And this is not really a place to hide coffins in a coffin shop. So it wasn't that a, big of a like leap to think that that was where the. 
I think w when we get back there, we should call the number at the bottom where it's like Ikea and they're like, if you have any problems, call this number. <laughs> we, we definitely should call that number and leave some feedback. All right, that sounds good. That's a good idea. Well, I'll tell you guys what, we could have made a much poorer decision in that portal room. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's good. So let's make that, that one the worst bad option. Yeah, there is an option out there which would have made us wrap the, wrap up for the night because Rob would have to completely recalibrate the entire game. Oh wow! So, well, no, it's the, Rob cut some content. So if I if you had ended up in the stuff, I would have had I would have probably called for a BRB while I try to figure out what to do with the fact that you were supposed to go somewhere that technically doesn't exist in this version. Oh, because I don't want to deal with it. And I'm the DM, and if I don't want to deal with it, guess what? You don't have to deal exactly. with it. Exactly. <laughs> you throw in the orange stone, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try to even again? have that stone? <laughs> oh, no, something will happen. I just... The stone gives a 404 error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Destination.com. Yeah, yeah that. The Maybe fire the pops up and it's like, we're sorry, but this area is still under construction. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it could be worse. It could be a pop-up that says, we we see you're trying to access this area. That is part of our limited time DLC. Please have your credit card ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For only five ninety nine, you can access this content. <laughs> uh, why, why does this teleporter have a CAPTCHA? Why do I have to prove I'm not a robot? I don't understand. Why, why couldn't it be like prove you're not undead or something? That seems weird. <laughs> Uh, or you're not alive maybe you're strong alive you, he's um, a he's on. as the sun comes up roughly in the valley around the, the Barovian valley shadows start to form light shadows ill-defined shadows through the various windows of the church you can hear a great amount of shuffling outside in the street, outside of the castle. Or I'm sorry, outside of the chapel. We got a long rest then, right? You did get a long rest. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna yeah. ask that. Because it's time for round two, apparently. <laughs> round three, maybe? I love how it's, uh, even though I pulled them in off the character list, it still doesn't treat Arabelle as a character. That's weird. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, a little bit. I think I pulled her off the character tab. So that means Vegan gets his max hit points back. Uh. Yeah, that was gonna be my next question. Am I back to yes. seventy hit points instead of sixty-two? Yes, you would be. All right. Uh, Gotta take the good with the impending doom. The impending doom. Yes, you're not raging and you are not reckless anymore. I'll take those off. Uh, and then I will hot fix this back up to a max of 70. I just, I love the, the image in my head of like, oh, everybody's like getting their bed rolls out and Dagan just stands there. <laughs> 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 just stands there all night long. You, you like, man, it's like really boring. Out, man? boring. You... Hanging out with the living is boring. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, Look, everybody gets up and you're like, I feel so refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of see him more of like just like sitting down cross legged next to Irina. Yeah, and, just staring at her. And creeping, <laughs> creeping her out. I'm watching you breathe. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it keeps checking her romantic. pulse. <laughs> it's very romantic. I think the word you're looking for is awkward. <laughs> Creepy. Um, as you as you move about in the morning and you can hear the shuffling on the, the streets outside, uh, you distinctly hear a, but uh, at some point a, a snap and a an angry sh uh, order. Damn it, you're the captain. It's your job to deliver the notice. Shortly that, thereafter, there is a rapping against the door of the chapel. Ooh, they're trying to serve us. We should run. <laughs> Baby mamas, we gotta go. Uh, 
I, sorry, but but I, I don't like the idea of being delivered and noticed that no good news is going to come. I'll go open the door. I'll go answer it. Looking as, as undead and, and uh, horrible as I can. The the guardsman takes a step back. Uh, one second. And the teen is off to bed. We are we are full on moving into back to school mode tonight. Yeah, that's <sighs> weird. Anyway, up early is hard. The the captain takes a step back at, at at the visage of an undead creature standing in the doorway, um, and hesitates before thrusting forward in a hand assigned uh, parchment with a, a massive black and red wax seal at the bottom and a couple of ribbons hanging off of it. You look Fancy. at the street, and there's probably two dozen town guardsmen assembled on the street in front of the church. Uh, you recognize standing to their side a tall, slender, homely woman. Oh, no. Evil lady. Lady Vachter. Yes. And with her, a short, round man with black, greasy hair. He has a massive, a massive necklace of gold and silver uh, panels with a crest in the middle. Um, uh, denoting his rank. The captain looks, by order of Lord Von Zarevich, we are to take you into custody as you are under arrest for high crimes against the county, valley, and realm. Please do not resist. And he, his hands starts to shake a little bit as he holds the parchment out. I'll reach out with my spectral hand. <laughs> <laughs> and take it from him. Just stare at him right in the eyes. Very reasonable. He can, and then I'll, uh, he, I'll turn back inside and I'll say... Uh, yeah, they're trying to arrest us. Uh, we uh, should we just kill them all, or uh, <laughs> I don't know. And I'll turn back to the guy and I'll say, give, "Give us a moment. Let me talk to my uh, my living friends here." You're gonna like close the door in his face? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like <laughs> one minute, <laughs> and then close the door. <laughs> yeah, are we killing all these guys? Hold, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, are, are we down for the the runaway plan? I'd much rather run away than murder a bunch of people, but I'm not yeah. going to jail either, so. Yeah, because something tells me if, if we go to prison, you know, albeit we probably go to Strahd's prison, but then the, he's going to get Irina. And you guys know right. I, can't, I can't allow that. No. Ar Arabelle will glance around. You were just complaining there was no easy way to get back to the castle. This is an easy way to get back to the castle, and still you complain. I mean, she's not wrong, but <laughs> we're gonna try to like Scooby Doo our way out of here, like find a I don't know. Go through one of the boarded windows and use pass without a trace. But yeah. yeah. Then, then we are, we are still at the point of how do we get back in the castle? I, I, I figure we could just wait for a carriage to show up again. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like a party bus. <laughs> the, the DM will lean and say, he sent you another carriage. <laughs> it's not the one that you want. Mm. So now we have to go back in chains. Oh no, there will be no chains. <laughs> We will we will come with you as guests of Von Zarevich. We will not come yes. as your prisoners. Yes, I I, I think that's good. That, that was a good first offer. All right, all right. Can we open up the door? I think we we can negotiate. So I'll just open up the door. I'll be like, good first offer, but new idea. You just escort us, and then leave us there, and we'll talk to Strahd, and I'm sure everything will just work its way out naturally. Oh, I don't think that's gonna fly. <clears throat> what what do you say, guardsman? 
Or or you can fight valiantly and die for Strahd. Either way, we're going to go to Strahd. So that's good point. So in the deal, you don't have to die. Right. Uh, and Azteki, we're still doing it. Roll me a persuasion. Can do. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> wow. Wanna re-roll that? It's a big wah wah wah. I don't know. It hurts so bad. I don't wanna re-roll. <laughs> it hurts so bad you wanna leave it. Hey, how do you think I felt every time I failed stealth? That was my exact feeling too. I was just like, all right, I guess. I guess that's what happened. Yep. All right. Well, you know, we're approaching the the end of the night. We got rerolls. I'll burn one. Why not? What up? Can't can't be much worse. Let's go. Natural mm -hmm. one. Your mm -hmm. tongue jumps out of your mouth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Better, but is it enough? Is it enough to get us there unchained? <laughs> Lady Wagner turns to the Burgomaster. They're bluffing. They won't kill this many innocent people. One or two, perhaps. But that paladin is a knight of raven kind. He would never shed so much innocent blood. Can I hear her? Oh, She's yeah. She's calling you out. I'll start with you. I'll start with you. I'll start with you. <laughs> yeah, rev up the sunbow. Now, now, can I do intimidation? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Ready to assess with intimidation. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I was wrong to persuade. It's violence. Threats violence, violence is all these people the understand. For our group. Some talent we have. <laughs> yeah. Um... The captain Sometimes. takes a, takes a look back at the uh, the burgomaster and Lady Wagner, uh, and he quickly confers with them. And turns. There is nothing in the stipulation that we are to deliver you in chains. We will escort you as prisoners, or at least to the edge of the town. You'll be given a parole to represent yourselves to the castle. <laughs> I'm going to walk this all the way there. <laughs> Too spooky. I'll, I'll pat him on the shoulder and I'll be like, smart man. <laughs> oh, you're nowhere close to him. He he's, wants, he's far away. He wants nothing. No, <laughs> no, he's not. No, no, he's, no, 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 no. He's probably going to retire as a guard. <laughs> I just want to bake bread. I, I want to be a baker instead. <laughs> um, they, they will make a, make room for you to come out, and they they kind of take a few steps. The, the the guard all backs up a bit, and the captain gestures down the road for you. And I yeah, I'll we'll start heading in that direction. I thought you were going to say, I will fireball. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely oh, town you have I mean, here. I thought about, like, have, you know, have, just doing, here. like, a little spark of fire, you know, to be yeah. like... <laughs> Who sparkles? Yeah, you can, you can call this the festival of when you almost caught the heroes of Ravenkind. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah. Um, but you have a free pass out of town. We'll take it. The guards will form up behind you and kind of <clears throat> act as an escort, keeping a firm distance behind you. Wonder why. Arabelle glances, okay, looks over her shoulder. She's walking, looks back. It's where they were close enough. One boom. One boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh... One boom. They, not, boom, yeah. they, they do not look like they are very fast on their feet. No. It would have been an impressive display. 
Your restraint is commendable. I mean, <laughs> would have been easy enough, just like a fire fireball. So you thought about it. Oh, we thought about a lot of things. Baby. That's, that's why we're <laughs> to talk our way out instead. The, the cacophony of, of screams would have been delightful. <laughs> How terrible would that have been? We just literally walk away from the burning town, screams behind us. Well, that didn't In turn slow out mo. Unexpected. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, did they not have like a festival of... of Screaming? No. <laughs> Festival of the Burning Sun. We're just bringing it back. The Festival of the Burning Sun. That's what I was trying to yeah, say. Yeah, we're just bringing it back. City. <laughs> Round two. Yeah, and by the way, your festivals suck. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That's it. Let them know <laughs> that if another portal takes us back here, we're just going to let the vampires eat us. <laughs> Use the redstone this time. <laughs> that lines up in the same place. You gotta hate this building. <laughs> we'll That's send Steve next time. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a scout. You should send Steve first. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And that is actually, I think, an incredibly good place to wrap up for the night. Yeah. Uh, Because Rob has to stand and figure out what the heck is going to happen now that you're on the wrong side of the uh, the castle walls. <laughs> Where well, uh, you never thought you'd see us again. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely not what I had intended to have happen. We should definitely pick up a fruitcake along the way. A tart? What? Oh, yeah, pick the up tart? some tarts on the way. Yeah, yeah. Pie, whatever it is. Yeah, you can't show up at the gate empty handed. <laughs> Yeah, definitely need more dream pies. Yeah, the dream pie thing. That's the newest. Well, that wasn't this town. We'd have to go all the way back to the other town. Yeah. Oh, no. I just, Dagan can never do dream pies again. Oh, no. That's so sad. <laughs> I don't Why sleep, so I can't dream. dream. <laughs> it's an, an interesting dilemma to, to, to have to deal with. An interesting dilemma. Um, but Either way, you slice it. Um, yeah, I have now. Yeah, I had to figure out what the heck's going to happen to you on the walk back to the castle. We stop oh by God. the Revenant, pick up more of those guys, and come with us. We bring in an army now. We did we kill? We killed those guys, didn't we? <laughs> no, we left some of them alive or dead or whatever. <laughs> and now, <laughs> now we can show up and be like, "Remember, you told us we couldn't be strong." Well, one of us died, so... <laughs> so you're right. Are you motivated to come help us now? <laughs> no, probably to be like, we told you so. Yeah, that would be my expectation. Well, at least they can have a good laugh. <laughs> oh, you died too. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to burn her now? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's a definite... I have to hit, I'm going to have to hit some Discord channels. What do we want to do? The heck this? do I do now? <laughs> yeah, my whole team just teleported <laughs> out of the place. <laughs> Maybe we could see if the, uh, I don't know, the book has some secrets about getting into the castle. It's his secret diary, right? Well, but remember, the castle is sitting on a massive pillar of rock thrust out of the cliff face. The only access point of which is a drawbridge. Idea. Catapult. We bring a catapult and just catapult ourselves over the walls. <laughs> Where are we going to get a catapult? <laughs> My boat acts like a catapult. Where most are of the we going to get a catapult from? You could summon one. Okay. You got magic. What that kind of magic? <laughs> <laughs> She's not the summoning magic, she's the blowing uppy magic. She's summoning something to blow you up. I can set uh, uh, you on fire and then <laughs> catapult you to the castle. That's even more epic. You see, now you're thinking. We could ride Bob. How fast does Bob move and how long does he last? <laughs> I don't think that's quite what you intended to do. <laughs> how, how many people can fit on a Bob? 
<laughs> That's not how Bob works. <laughs> we'll just retrofit the spell. It'll be fine. We'll use uh, some runes. Maybe if Steve tries really hard, he can carry us. <laughs> holding on. You have polymorph, right? <laughs> Uh, Ooh. Ooh, did you yeah, take you polymorph? Did. polymorph? I do, yeah. yeah. Turn Steve into a dragon. <laughs> yeah, you just turn turn somebody into like a giant eagle or something. Yes. We can oh, get off our way in. We'll pick up the hobbits on the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Off the ring and go kill Strud. Book it. Done. Oh, my God. Okay. We got to send everybody somewhere. And while I have a lot of friends who are playing tonight, um, there is a really fun opportunity for you to go hang out. Uh, Felicia Day is currently engaged in her own game of Dungeons and Dragons tonight with the entire cast of the guild. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. And uh, so that's cool. where I'm going to throw y'all. Yeah, they're a funny group. Yeah. Um, the thing is, tonight, like, literally everybody and their cousin is running a game of D&D. Like, I really didn't know where to go because Indoor Adventurers has a game going tonight. LB Hack'em Up has a game going tonight. I thought Time Lord's wife was having a game going tonight, but I don't see her on here. So she might be playing on somebody else's channel that I don't follow. Um, so there's just a lot. Of, Sunday night's a, well, Sunday night's a good night for D&D. Let's, let's just be honest with each other for a quick second. Um, but I am going to throw you guys over there because uh, if I had time tonight to stay up and watch D&D, that's what I would want to be doing. And I can't because I have to get up and go to work in the morning because it's my second week of school. It's not my first full week, but it's uh, my second. Uh, my name is Rob, a.k.a. Lantern Noir. Um, you can find me here Sundays and Wednesdays running D&D &D and several other nights doing other goofy stuff around my new schedule, which I'm working on. Um, and then, Nebula, where are we going to find you if we come on back? Uh. <clears throat> you will find me um on probably playing some i just started horizon zero dawn which i've never played through um so i'm finally like playing through that for the first good, time good choice very yeah. good game much respect um, maybe... from the peanut gallery <laughs> thank you yeah i'm excited it's i've heard i mean Saki's played through it and he never plays through games like that and he nope. he, he loved it didn't so. do any of the side quests when you have to say goodbye to all the friends you made, there's one person in like this giant gazebo. <laughs> I so I suggest you do the side <laughs> quest. All right. On that note, we're going to tip. We're going to pop out of here. And we thank everybody for coming by, hanging out, ride the raid. Tell them we said hi. Um, and let them know that they can come back and find D and D on every Sunday over with us. Um, and we'll see y'all then. Good night. And there goes the raid.